Hello, friends. Good morning from CIP Canada. This is Kartan Pudri from uh, CIP Study Abroad. I'm a regulated Canadian immigration consultant and we work in Conestoga College. I'm a national students recruitment officer. Welcome to the live today's session. Social media, Facebook, and other channels. Okay. So, Hidashri here. So what happened between Australia? Uh, actually, in uh, 2013, I went to Australia. And in 2015, my course was uh, done, master in IT. And in 2017, I applied for 457 visa. That was work visa. And, uh, you know, after uh, eight or nine months, uh, like my, uh, my company was bankrupt and immigration directly sent me the letter of withdrawal of my file. Not oh. cancelled, it's withdrawn. And within 30 days, I need to apply for another visa or I should come back. So mm -hmm. we didn't have any option. So we chose to come back to India. So that's oh. the situation. Okay, so what you could do, uh, you know, yes. SOP is to highlight your achievements. So before conclusion, you can add a short paragraph that I have a travel history. I previously traveled to Australia. I studied and I return back to India because my four seven my employer was filed up, uh, my employer filed for bankruptcy so I had to return back to India so very brief explanation not much in detail okay so I need to explain that much like one or two sentences one or two sentences don't it's not your your focus here is to explain why Canada and not more about Australia you have not done anything wrong down there you can just Provide a few sentences and then we can take it forward from there. Okay, no worries. My concern was just that, like I should mention or not. So yes. it's okay. I just add one or two sentences about this. Like uh, my company was bankrupt and I uh, re I receive a letter from immigration that your visa is withdrawn. So I just came back. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank so you. Actually, of the visa that it was the post study visa for Santa. Okay. 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 Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too as well. Have a good night. So kindly request all the people who have joined the Zoom session to post a short message, your name and the city where you are from, and I will follow the order of the message. Okay. So I see uh, Mahesh Zoom user and Shubham Mani. One of you, please. Who is Zoom user? Mahesh, Mahesh and Shubham. Yes, Shubham, please go ahead. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Shubham. Yes, sir. Shubham. Am I audible enough? Yes, yes, I can hear you, Shubham. Uh, sir, I got your reference from Dhananjay Sirsagar, sir, who, who is the HOD at uh, of hospitality at uh, Eastern know. College I yes, know uh, in British Columbia. So he is a very good friend of my father. So, sir, uh, right now I'm working in a Ritz Carlton Hotel in, in Pune as a chef. And I'm from hotel management background. I have completed my bachelor's from Pune itself. And mm -hmm. right now I'm planning to do my higher education from Canada. So I've already spoken with Gokul sir from Mumbai. Okay, that's nice. And uh, what, what have you shortlisted here? Which, uh, any, any specific locations, colleges? Actually, actually, I'm still looking for it. But uh, I, like in, particularly in my field, there are two, three colleges which provide the best courses like uh, George Brown and uh, Niagara College, Seneca, Fanshawe. Yeah. But I haven't gone into like details of each course. So I've just started looking into it. And my IELTS is also pending. So uh, my first priority is clearing that so that we can start the further process. So IELTS is pending? Yes, sir. So which intake are you applying with? Uh, sir, I'm planning for January 2023. Okay, see in Canada we have think it, it we have very limited institutions and you have to plan 10 to 12 months before the start date. Okay. Okay, so there is a very good program. Uh, okay.
Okay. Uh, okay. I'm specifically looking into culinary arts since I'm into kitchen management. Mm -hmm. So, see, if you're looking at one, Niagara College has one of the best programs, uh, especially uh, the main campus. One of my students actually who graduated here from culinary is teaching in one of the Niagara colleges, but I think it's oh, for domestic great. students, but that's for domestic students. So if you're looking at the Niagara College postgraduate programs here, uh, you only have bachelor's, right? You don't have undergraduation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So if you're looking for, oh, let's go here for the international. And here you look into the program graduate certificate programs. And these are the programs in Niagara College. Uh, the most popular program, fortunately, you know, nothing specific in culinary on a PG level. Remember, you already have, uh, you know, uh, you already have an undergraduate degree in culinary, so you cannot go into an undergraduate program in okay sir so so what is your advice like uh, since i have done my bachelor so i should do the post graduation or master's degree or like repeating in bachelor obviously there is no option in masters in culinary. Masters. if you okay, go for okay. masters you would only find a general options like you know hospitality generic programs not okay there's a very good program for January intake, you're already late. But if you are okay to take your Duolingo English test, there is a program which is, uh, uh, let me just uh, show you. This is a good program and which is actually open now for uh, international students. Okay. Sure, sir. Sir, I also wanted uh, your advice upon like how is the future in Canada for especially like culinary or hotel industry. I mean, if the you, tourism is of course good yeah, see, in Canada. I would advise one: you, you you already have you're doing a good job with working in a five star property, so that's a very yes, good sir. Certainly. Second, you know, I it. Uh, Food industry, there is always demand. Right. It all depends on how you caliber, uh, how you, you know, how you uh, develop your career. You know, for example, um, somebody can work one hour for $15 or $16 as a chair, right? Or somebody can work as a celebrity chef and he can make $100,000. Right, sir. Right, so there are opportunities here. You can look into if you are interested in hotel resort management, you already have uh, okay. you know, experience. If you want to go for a program which will give you a complete overall education, you can go into this program. Uh, food media, this is a very interesting program which is only offered in Centennial College. Centennial and if College. Look, yeah, it, this is in Toronto. And if you look okay. at this, this program is open for January. And if you are able to take, get your English tests, there is an online English test called Duolingo. We can still make okay, it for sir. Canada. So if you look okay, at the sir. curriculum here, Introduction to Food Media, Recipe mm -hmm. Research Development and Writing, Introduction to Digital Media, Food Writing, Food Media Marketing and Promotion, Production and Editing, Food Media Concept Production, Exploration of Food Ways, that is the first semester. Second, uh, is social media for food, food styling, photography. So it's a, it's it's an interesting program, but it, it is not culinary. Culinary is, you will not find culinary programs on a PG level. Okay, Either okay, so got it. Certificate. So if you are looking into this, then you know, hotel resort management would have been a good program. Food media, check this program. Food tourism, I'm not sure if the program is open, but, uh, you know, also an interesting option, but... I would definitely first choice if you had an opportunity. I would go. I would go for this program. Any 
currently program is something what I would consider for uh, uh, you know for students from Pune not really much uh, when it comes to culinary specifically on a graduate level. Sure, sir. I'll I'll look into this courses and then I'll get it back to you. So how long how long have you been working as a chef and when did you start working with Carlton? Uh, uh, sir, I'm working with Ritz Carlton since one year from July 2021. And what 2022, you... sorry. Uh, 2021, last year, yeah. Last year, you're running ahead. And uh, yeah, yes, and before that, uh, I've done my training from a Michelin star restaurant in France. In France, okay, that's nice. You did your internship there, okay. Yes. So, yeah. like considering my I field, have. I have a very good professional Experience. skills and knowledge in my. So, what what is your cuisine? Do you what do you specialize in? Sorry, sir, I could. What what do you specialize uh, in? Right now, I'm working in Japanese cuisine. Japanese, well, a lot of opportunity. Uh, sir, as such, like what my thinking. Yes, sir. Right, right, right now. Is the modern trending cuisine and whatever is going with the future of the food industry, trying to gain knowledge. That. That's good. That's good. So, yeah, please be in touch with Gokul and we'll take it forward. So, there is one option, but because you're late with the English, there is an English just called Duolingo. Okay. Duolingo English okay, test. Sir. If you Take this test. This is an online test, and you have to be alone in the room without any people walking around. You should you have, and make sure that you're looking at the camera. There should not be other applications like Skype or any other pop-ups coming, or they will stop this. Okay. Yes, got So it. this is an online test. It okay. is about sixty dollars, okay. sixty US dollars, and you can practice. There is a practice test here. Okay. And you can also go ahead and. Take this test and you will get the test in two days and we can use it for the admission. So, if you can see here, just admission. a second, Centennial College, we had an update. Centennial College, they opened eight months before the standard. And I'm actually sharing you. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, see, if you see this, you know, open program list. This is the email which we received a couple of days ago. And they'll be opening, if you see this, on application cycle will be open from 1st of 7th of July. Okay. And uh, okay, these sir. are the open programs if you're looking at. Right. So if you're looking at the postgraduate programs, so the only two programs which are open are uh, you know, this program is open. Yeah, this three, all the three programs, what we have discussed, but people already started submitting the applications from the first, okay? So if you want to get okay, sir. this done as soon as possible, you will have to get your Duolingo English test. And after you get your Duolingo English test, we can submit your application okay. if the program is open. So hotel, resort, and restaurant management is open. Food media is open. Food tourism is open as well. Hello? Yes. So I have got this number from Facebook. Um, I actually wanted to apply for a work permit, a postgraduate work permit uh, from India. Okay. I'm in a Zoom now. If you can join there, then we can discuss in detail. Okay. Um, okay. Zoom link is on the Facebook group. And you can just send me a message on WhatsApp and you'll get the Facebook group. Okay. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so these two programs, so again, very important for you to understand that if you miss this program, main intake is a very limited intake, okay? So get this done as soon as possible, yeah. Sure, sir. I'll get it done ASAP and then I'll get back to Gokul, sir. If you see this program, Centennial, very few programs, okay. uh, this program, the main intake is a limited intake and they are not offered. This program, uh, if you're looking at food tourism, it is not offered. This program is also not offered. Food media is not offered. Hospitality research and resort management as well. This is the only program which is offered for main day. 
So if you miss now, make sure this is the only program which will be open for you. And we can also do in Niagara. Right, okay. All right, sir. Got it. Okay, then. Yeah. Take care, Shubham. Be in okay. touch. With you. Okay. Yes. Sure, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, Shubham. Take care. Bye. And give my regards to your. Uh, Okay. He Definitely, was my okay. when I was in Conisto, when I was working in Mohawk College, he was studying okay. international business management, and uh, he actually I remember visiting him because of the he used to visit my office in the international department. Yeah, right. long journey that was about six years ago. <laughs> okay, so looking forward to talk to you soon. Sure. Yes, sir. And I start the process ASAP. And yes, that, please. Yes, thank you, sir. Take You're welcome. Yeah. Uh, so, kindly request all the people who have joined the Zoom session to leave a short message, your name and the city you are from, and I will all follow the order of the messages posted. Okay. So, I have Krish here from Chennai. Krish. And then I have Ruchi Kan Kanabar and Zahid after that. Okay. Mahesh and Newton, uh, please leave a short message, your name and the city you are from, and I will we will follow the order of the messages posted. Okay, Krish, are you here, Krish? Uh, hello, hey, hi, Gautam. Um, sorry, I was on mute. Can you hear no, me? Sir. Yes, I can. So, Krish, hi. Krish is Krishna. Correct, yeah, Krishnan. So uh, I applied uh, the spousal open work permit uh, and also my visitor permit and uh, for my kid, a visitor uh, visa uh, with you, with the help of Arun. Uh, and we got all that now. And uh, I'm actually planning to travel to Vancouver. Yeah, thank you so much again uh, for the entire CIP team. And thank you again. So happy for it, yeah. So uh, now we're traveling on... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cheers, yeah. So we are planning to travel on this 29th of uh, July uh, to Vancouver. Uh, and now, uh, obviously, I want to apply the visitor visa for my parents because I have a kid who is like you know, two years old right now. And uh, my wife is studying in uh, the University of Canada West. And uh, I'm going to probably like, you know, start working as well. So I want to take my dad and my mom. So uh, I thought probably I'll discuss with you before I go ahead and apply for the visitor visa. Okay, I would advise you to wait, uh, you know, see, uh, the reason why mm -hmm. uh, you, you know, financials are very important when you're applying for your parents as well, okay? Okay. In your situation, you, I would advise you to hold on until you get to Canada, get a job. Okay. Uh -huh. Then apply for your parents. When you are on oh, okay. a, when you are on a temporary status, your wife is studying. There is no source of income. Mm -hmm. True. Yeah. Okay. So when you are on a work permit, you have a decent job. Then is a higher chance. It's usually you know when you are on a postgraduate work, when you are on a student without source of income, it's difficult to get a visitor visa unless your parents are retired, right? They're oh, they're out of sixty plus, and they're they're okay with that. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Sure. So. So I yeah. Uh... So my parents are actually like you no know, uh, retired. So they are sixty plus, both of them. Uh, so do you still advise me to like you know? Uh, I would yeah. If you want to play a lottery? I would advise you to wait until yeah. you get the Perfect, sir. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. I wouldn't rush, and I'll be careful with that. Exactly. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Valid. So yeah, it was a long wait, and again, thank you so much. I mean, we couldn't contain the excitement of uh, getting this possible open work permit now. Yeah. Very welcome. You're very welcome. I'm so glad uh, that it worked out. And and one request, if you can, you know, we are a virtual platform, and what we have yeah. today because of students like you, uh, you know, mm -hmm. flying. So we have an FB page. If you can just post a review there. Uh, uh, I already did, and uh, you have liked my post as well. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, it, it was in the FB group or FB page. Yes, yes, it is in the FB uh, group page. I mean, you, you have liked it, and even Narun has liked that as well. Yeah, so there is a page we have. A, so group is different, and 
page is different. Ah, uh, okay. Uh huh. Yeah. I just posted the link here if you don't mind. I'll give you. Okay. Sure. Yeah, perfect. Yes. Uh, Newton. Newton logo. Just give Please. me a second. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Krishna. Take care and uh, keep me posted. Be in touch with Arun and let me know how things will work out. Okay. Sure, sir. Yeah. Thank you so much. Give me a call when you come into can when you come when you fly over. Give me a call and then let's plan. Definitely, sir. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Uh, Newton, what is your number, Newton? Let me connect you with uh, uh, Nihil from our team, and we'll take it forward with your second course. Uh, yes. Uh, so, do you want me to share the link, uh, share the number? Yes, please. You can direct message me here. Uh, where are you studying now? You are in Loyalist College in Belgium. Yes, yes. Are you studying project management? Yes. Okay. How was it, Belleville? Are you living yeah. in the, the online studies? Uh, no, I'm uh, like uh, it's offline currently. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good, uh, but. Uh, some struggle with the part-time jobs. That's it. It's a small town. We don't really yeah. work with them as well, unfortunately. It's some good programs, but again, very small town out there. Uh, yeah. yeah. How was the accommodation? Were you able to manage to find accommodation mm -hmm. at the level? Yes, uh, like the college, uh, they provided me with the uh, accommodation, and it was pretty a uh, decent amount. Like. Mm -hmm. So college provided your accommodation. That's nice. Yeah. And. Uh, how much did it cost and how was the condition living conditions yeah it was uh, 425 uh, yeah, they say that it was a discounted price they might mm -hmm. be hiking it for the next uh, uh, intake uh, but it was like we had an individual room and some common space like kitchen and uh, the washroom and all not bad right affordable comfort comparative yeah, yeah. That's good. That's that's a good effort. Okay. And and uh, which program are you looking and which intake are you considering? Uh, actually, I was planning initially for uh, Jan, but I I see that most of the uh, like programs uh, are like filled up or they are in the verge of filling up. So I'm planning now for uh, May intake. My permit uh, gets over in uh, April. Uh, so I wanted to ask whether it's fine for me to go to May because uh, yeah, uh, I just got to know uh, that uh, if we take a drop or we, we take a vacation uh, when our course completes, uh, like there will be some issues with the uh, like work permit and the PR thing. No issues. You can definitely take a break after between your first program and your second program and you can work full time. But remember, May is also a limited intake. Not all program, all colleges offer programs in May. Very limited programs are offered. So what is your bachelor's treatment percentage and your work experience back on? Uh, it's um, uh, like I have taken electronics and communication bachelor's. Uh, I have an aggregate of 60%. And after that, uh, like I started working uh, as a software tester. Uh, I have an experience of around six years, like been That's working with HCL and all. Uh, but recently, I uh, like uh, uh, I applied to Conestoga for big data, and uh, the process uh, it took uh, quite long and like uh, around one one month you could say. Uh, but I got a rejection saying that the uh, like. Uh, what is your bachelor's? Not... Sorry. What is your bachelor's stream? Electronics and communication. Yes, Conestoga gives a priority to students who are from computer science background. Okay, uh, so the next thing I was planning was for uh, uh, virtualization and cloud computing in Conestoga for May intake. So will will that be a good idea or you would suggest let's me something ahead. else? Yeah, let's look at How do you see your future? Uh, I think that uh, like I was planning initially for project management as a, to get the certification and all, but I think that cloud has a good scope here and I have a kind of background in software development. So I thought that I would have got the, uh, like the seat. Yeah, not really. So if you look at this virtualization in cloud here, let's look at the admission requirements. If you're looking at degree uh, in computing information technology, uh, engineering fields with an average of B. Again, it is the same here. They will give priority. Conestoga will give priorities to students who are from IT background. Okay. What I suggest you is we can definitely do this as an option. 
However, there is one program in Conestoga which I would probably say will give you a wider spectrum. Right? If you're looking at, uh, we had many students who have successfully completed and working. Conestoga College, a computer applications development. Okay, so this program, uh, computer application development, if you see the program here, this program is for students who are from non-IT bachelors and who would like to pursue an education in uh, you know, software development. So great opportunity. We have many students who successfully completed this program and there is a optional co optional co-op. If you are able to get 80% in your first semester and your second semester, you might be able to get a co-op and we have many students who have successfully completed this co-op and are working as software development. From CIP, I think we have at least 10, 10 plus applicants who successfully completed this program uh, and are already working. I mean, we have hundreds in Conestoga. We are one, I previously worked in Conestoga College as the International Students Recruitment Officer, and I live near Conestoga College, just about 10 minutes. So we have an average of about 150 to 200 students from CIP in Conestoga every year. It's a very great, great program, and uh, I would advise you, Cloud, definitely there is an opportunity, you know, it's a good program, but again, if there is, if it is not working out, make sure that you indicate this program as well. It's a wider specter and you can get into the software development given that you already have some base here, okay? So okay. in Conestoga, in one application, with one application, please, you can indicate three, uh, three programs. Okay. Are you in touch with anybody from our team, Newton? Uh, yeah, Sabin, sir, I guess. You are in already in touch with Sabin, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. So can you uh, can you leave your number? I will also check in with Sabin, and we'll okay. see what can be done with uh, you know. Uh, would you be interested in January intake if we are able to get some seats for uh, in Conestoga? Sometimes they might be cancellations. Okay. Yeah, I would be interested in. Uh, yeah, yeah, I would uh, be interested in. Okay. Okay. So cloud definitely good. Where else I can help you? We, you know, we can also do, I'm not, again, I'm just giving you some options. Again, it is your choice. Uh, yeah. Your... I was looking for like the other thing, if, uh, because I was uh, skeptical on uh, uh, choosing any computer related course as my bachelor's were different. So any other uh, sp uh, like course you would suggest me, which uh -huh. would like, but where I'll tell you where the opportunity is to get acceptance, we can get in cybersecurity in York University. Again, okay. you, know, you know, you have software development, you have uh, interest in cloud, and you also have a generic uh, understanding about software development. Cybersecurity is one field. If you are interested, we can get in there. Uh, but I would definitely advise you to look into computer application development as a first priority. It will give you a very strong foundation as a developer. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, if you can just give me a number. I will have uh, uh, you know uh, Sibin connect. Uh, I, I just want to follow up with Sibin and see what is happening as well. Okay. Yeah. I uh, yes. One other program where we can also help you for January intake is data analytics in Durham College. Uh, Okay. Again, it's a good program. I'm not sure if you have checked data analytics. Uh, just give me a second here. So very good program. We have many students out there and I think we might be able to get an acceptance for January in TQ period. Uh, so here, So they, are, they have artificial intelligence, two programs in January, which might work out for you. One is this data analytics. It's a good program, a lot of opportunities now in data. I'll just put a short video and then take it forward from there.
so data analytics good option uh, as well artificial agents i wouldn't advise unless you have a very strong software development i wouldn't advise that okay yeah uh yeah one last thing uh, like uh, will be uh, uh, for the um, main intake thing the applications are not uh, like uh, meaning open yet so any uh, anticipate date uh, like they would be open so we probably this is uh, so which every college has different start dates right so if you're looking at for example conestoga college they will they usually start about 8 months before the start date right so main take so we are all we are looking at about i think probably in uh, uh, august okay okay yeah so think about it and uh, yeah. let us know and do leave me a number and i will just ping in uh, seven as well and update yeah 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 thank okay. you sir thank You're you welcome. for that Yeah, Ruchi from Mumbai. Ruchi, can I borrow? Hello, sir. How are you? I'm I'm good, Ruchi. How are you? How are you? Achhi, achhi. Gokul sir gave me a number. Actually, I completed my bachelor's in commerce in the year 2011, and mm -hmm. uh, I got 65 percent. So I want to go to Canada for like you know further studies or something. Do you think I can go after having such a long gap? And I'm 32 currently. You are only 32, but no issues at all. We have hundreds and hundreds of applicants, 30 plus who have. In fact, uh, we okay. even have 40 plus as well who have approved study visa. Uh, and uh, yes. I'm an, I am myself an example. I'm 47, mm -hmm. and I applied for my study visa when I was 38. Oh, wow! Okay. I so, thought I'm too late for this. Maybe you know, too. Right. Right. And I don't no. have any kind of certification in between because I was pursuing my chartered accountancy. I managed to clear first and second level, but the final I couldn't get through. So I have certification only. you know inter ca cleared that is in 2012 but i don't have final certification because i couldn't manage to get you know get through with that exams so i have the ca i know we have many chartered accounts who have applied so <laughs> what is the highest level of education and your percentage yeah 65 percentage and bachelor's in commerce okay because for students who have a gap after study right your yeah. consistent work experience is the key to visa approval Okay. Correct. Correct. So, what is your work experience, Aruchi? So, around three years, I couldn't work because you know I was preparing for my exams and all those things. And last one year, I have not been working. So, I have a little gap because I was helping my husband in his business. So, I I left the job and I was accompanying him in his business. What is your husband's business? uh he's basically sourcing specialist they are like agent you know uh, he needs to sell the product from uh, they are into textile so uh, they tie up with different different mills and then they need to export that product in us uh, germany and different different places they need to sell that product basically no. it's it's a bed sheet okay okay bed sheets textile bed sheets yeah bed sheets and all right right correct Yes, shorting bed sheets bed sheets rugs everything carpets and everything so okay. everything related to home textile basically mm -hmm. that's an interesting job but not easy always online trying to make contacts trying to connect with yeah. business true 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 yeah so getting back uh, rachivati here see consistent work experience is important and especially at the time of visa application it is okay. advisable to have a job Okay. Uh, I advise you, you know, even if irrespective of the salary, for example, if you are interested in, okay, okay, right? okay. accounting or finance as a career, try to get any job, irrespective mm -hmm. of the salary. The, it is very important from the visa perspective that you mm -hmm. show uh, that okay. you are doing the job. So, what options? Uh, okay. We, any students, do you want to pursue a career in accounting or finance? uh i'm more keen towards finance so okay. uh, you know given an option i would always go for finance okay so we work with the university in toronto uh okay. uh, sorry niagara university uh, okay 
again, I'm not uh, advising top universities here because top universities, it's difficult to get a, they don't accept three years bachelors. So, mm -hmm. okay. if you do your best credential evaluation course by course, you get mm -hmm. a course as a bachelor's and you will be able to get. So Niagara University, it's a very, it is a binational bi university with uh, campus in US and also here in uh, Ontario. Okay. They have a master's program. Okay, so which intake are you planning? Uh, January intake, if possible. Yes, possible. So they have MS Finance. Let okay. me share. We work very closely with Niagara University. As of now, there are only two agencies all over the world who work closely with Niagara University of Ontario. And we okay. are one. I was actually there a couple of weeks ago for the president's annual dinner as one of the sponsors of the event as well, patrons of the event. So look at this program. And mm -hmm. the for the program is about uh, uh, $10,000 per semester. So you're looking at about 40000 Okay. Okay, so this is 10,000. So the process is first, you have to get your studies uh, at a degree of, uh, uh, you know, credentials access to WES or any other organizations out there. I, okay. I'm, yeah, I'll send you this. You can go ahead and uh, look into it. Are you in a Facebook group, Ruchi? No, I'm not. Okay, let me give you three uh, groups. We have, we have a very strong more than 50,000 people in our Facebook and also there's a WhatsApp group and also a Telegram group, okay? So you'll okay. find a lot of people, we have more than 50,000 people in our Facebook group, you'll find many people like you who are in mm -hmm. the gym, there are many other groups as well. So use Facebook as a research tool, you'll find a lot of information out there in these groups. Sure thing. And sir, how long will be this course? Like what will be the course duration? Two years, it's a two years master's, four semesters. Two years master's and also uh, Gokul sir was suggesting me some 17 months MBA program for finance. So, so that's, that's another. So that's, let, let me get to the next one. So guys, okay. all the people who have joined the Zoom session, one, please post your uh, name and uh, short message, your city you are from in the Zoom chat. And I will follow the order of the messages posted. And also please join our Facebook group and WhatsApp group and our Telegram group. Okay. So... Getting back to what we have uh, discussed here, uh, one, so this is in Toronto if you're interested in Ontario. Second, also University of Canada West. Okay. This is, again, these are not Harvard and Stanford. These are top universities. These are not top universities, world prestigious universities, but practical options. Good institutions, multi-million dollar investments here. University of Canada West. Okay. This is, yeah, this this university is actually a part of a big company called Global Universities. Okay. Global University Systems has they have they own University of Law in UK, University of Concordia in uh, in in Chicago in in US. Mm -hmm. uh, in Canada, they have University of Canada West. They also have Fleming College and Niagara College campuses of Toronto. In Germany, they have institutions. In Ireland, they have institutions. In uh, uh, Singapore, they have institutions. So it's a huge group. And they made, five years ago, they have taken this and uh, they have this MBA program. Uh, okay. Yeah, location very good. Definitely, it is in Vancouver. And, right. uh, and the program, very interesting program because, uh, if uh, let me just show you, they have different electives and finance is one of the electives. And the tuition is okay. about 30, 30, 36 to $38,000. And they also have a scholarship. If you study well in the first and the second semester, you can apply for some scholarships there. So okay. yeah, here, this is the MBA program. Correct. Here, and if you see this elective, so they have different elective business analytics, consulting, entrepreneurship, finance, human resource management, Leadership, marketing, digital marketing, nonprofit, and project management. So, finance definitely you can look in. And if you see the major here in finance, 
investment analysis and management, personal finance and planning, global financial institutions and managing, and new finance. Okay, these are the two. If you're interested in masters, we can also look into uh, colleges. In in your in one more university postgraduate program, York University. Have you heard of York University? Yes, I've heard of it. Yes. So York University is the third largest university here in Canada, mm -hmm. and uh, they have an advanced accounting program. Correct. Okay. Yeah, and we have many chartered accountants who have studied, who have completed this program. It is a one-year program, and the tuition fees is about eighteen thousand dollars. Okay, and this is for one year, right? This is for one year, and this is in Toronto. Let me share you a short video of York University, and then we can take it forward from there. So this is York University in Toronto. They have uh, the School of Continuing Studies, Professional Studies. They are coming up with a very ultra-modern campus in the huge campus in York. And I think it should be done by this September. So let me share the video. And meanwhile, I'll go and get a glass of water. Just give me a second. Welcome to the virtual tour of York University. York University is Canada's third largest university with over 50,000 students from over 178 countries, spread out over two Toronto campuses and soon to be a third in Markham in 2021. We are connected and making an impact across the globe with over 300,000 accomplished alumni, 280 international partnerships, and the only Canadian university with an eco campus in Costa Rica and MBA campus in Hyderabad, India. Founded in 1959, York is proud to be a progressive university that inspires new ways of thinking through excellence in teaching and research. We prepare our graduates for meaningful careers through top-ranked programs and diverse experiential education opportunities. Our community of diverse perspectives and backgrounds share the common goal of making the world a better place. Our motto? Tentata via. The way must be tried. Throughout this tour, you will get to see our Kiel campus and what our students experience here every day, including some of our many academic buildings and innovative learning spaces. You will see student spaces like where you can go to get food on campus, where you can study, where you can work out, the new York University subway station, and everything York has to offer. Enjoy the tour! Here we are in York Lanes, our very own mall on campus. Located in the heart of campus, students can find restaurants, a pharmacy, banks, a dental clinic, a doctor's office, a hair salon, coffee, and more. It's also home to the York University Bookstore, where students can purchase all their class materials and York gear. At York Lanes, students can use their student card, called their YU card, to purchase anything they need. York Lanes is the place on campus to find all the amenities students are looking for. Welcome to Tate McKenzie, the hub of York athletics and recreation. My name is Micah. Let me show you around. Whether you're interested in joining one of our varsity teams, intramural leagues, or just getting a good workout, there's something for everyone here. And our helpful client services team will get you started. Tate McKenzie Gym focuses on our world-class personal trainers and fitness instructors with one of the largest student-based staff in North America. We offer daily programming to meet the fitness, social, and wellness needs of our student body. So that was York University, and they have a very good program in accounting. You can also consider programs called financial planning. However, I would strongly suggest you to, one, get a job, okay? Mm -hmm. Remember, it is not about the timing. It is more about getting your approval. So the visa officer will definitely look at your consistent work experience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. So if I can arrange an offer letter from my previous, uh, you know, chartered accountancy where, firm where I was working. So will that, that be okay? With what you're talking, it is not okay. <clears throat> the reason why it mm -hmm. has to be genuine. One mm -hmm. in Canada, it is called misrepresentation, right? If somebody... Okay answers the call and says, we don't know who the person is working, you'll get yourself in trouble. One, mm -hmm. right? Always put the truth. Second, mm -hmm. when you're applying for your permanent residency in the future, mm -hmm. the IRCC, we, you know, it, it's not the first time, right? There are thousands and lakhs of people who apply for this and there is a fraud department. Correct. They check 
right? Visa of visa manager, you know, when your case officers they check in, you're yeah, right. working. They will Google. They will check the company, and they might even ask your bank statement. Okay, correct. Your salaries. Correct. So you know if the, so, one mistake can mess up your whole PR options in the future. So make sure that you always do things legally. Get a job. I know mm -hmm. it is difficult, but again, it is very important that you have. You might not require a job because of mm -hmm. your husband and working, and you know you do mm -hmm. have children. Correct. Do you have children? No, I don't have. You don't have. Look for a job. If you are really interested in a career, I would definitely advise you to look into that. Okay. 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 So, sir, if my husband's profile, if we put him, like, if he can go for a student visa and I can go, uh, his age is same, but he completed his graduation in 2013 because he had selected initially with the engineering stream and then he changed to uh, bu business management. So that is BMS. And he completed his graduation in 2013 with uh, 75%. Okay, again, is he self-employed now or does he have a job? Yes, apparently he's self-employed. That's again, you know, uh, also a concern. Like it, it's okay to be self-employed, but again, risk. When I had applied for my studies many years ago, I had a company, a HR company, a recruitment company, international recruitment company with many offices in Eastern Europe. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I think when you're a small business, mm -hmm. why MBA? It's always easy to show that there are many job opportunities mm -hmm. in the corporate sector, but when you're self-employed, do you really need to spend $40,000 and two years of your life studying MBA? Correct. Correct, correct. Okay. Correct. So okay. I would advise you to find a job. If mm -hmm. it's, go ahead. I'm, I, I, you know, I'm not, I'm, uh, I'm not saying that your visa will be approved. But again, as your consultant, I should only advise you steps that will ensure a higher chances of getting your approval. Correct, correct, correct. So if I get my job now, uh, then can I try for January intake or yes, no? Yes, you can still try for January intake. Okay. All right. Fine. So okay. I have three options, either to go like Niagara University, UCW, and the other one, York University, right? York University, and you can also go into colleges for financial planning, one-year program. However, I would advise you to look into master's as a priority because you are already 32, and master's will give 30 points. Correct. Correct. So, which one is having 17 months of program? UCW? Uh, UCW. Or all are two years? All, all are actually two years. You know, it's... Okay. So, operative. can I... come If it's... If the duration is two years, can I complete it one, in one and a half year? Just like in US, you can complete your master's a little earlier by completing your credits or you cannot? I have to take two years to complete. UCW, you can do that. UCW, you can do that, right? Yes, I can check in Niagara as well. Okay. 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 Hello, yeah. sir. Okay. Hello, sir. sir. Good evening. Yeah. So, yeah, Al Alamji, please. I know a lot of people out here on Monday is usually a very busy day. We actually yes. have money from Philippines also. It's very late for them as well. So, Alamji, you are you are you in Bara? Asla. Hello. Yeah, where are you now? Where are you? Sir, sir, I am from Hatoli, Meerut. Meerut, okay. So if you don't mind, I'll be, uh, you know, we have people who joined before you and um, I'm following the order of the messages. Posted. Okay, 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 sir. Okay, sir. I will not mind. Yeah, please, if you don't mind, okay. Okay, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. So, uh, yeah, Ruchi, I think we've just completed. Ruchi, keep me posted, Ruchi, how things are happening, okay? Yeah, and, and Zahid from India. Zahid? Uh, hello, uh, good evening, sir. Good, e good, good morning and good evening, Zahid. Okay, uh, sir, uh, I'm 27 and uh, I will be 28 in uh, March 2023. So okay. actually, uh, today in the afternoon, I booked a 20-minute uh, session. I, uh, I saw a link on the Facebook uh, in, in, in one of the groups. 
So I was expecting, then I didn't get any message, so <laughs> I joined the Zoom meeting. Yeah, I have actually asked our team to update because, you know, when your people are ready to talk for free, there is no end to the calls. I'm unable to yeah. manage my work. So I yeah. diverted those calls to my team whenever possible, but I came in very late yesterday. My sister uh, uh, is here from the U.S. for three days, three to four days. So we came in very late. I was at Niagara Falls and I couldn't forward that email to our team. But please, thanks for joining in. So how can I help okay. you that? Uh, sir, uh, one more request. I'm trying to on my video, you know, but it says it's enabled. Yes, ma'am. Okay, yes. okay, sir. Sometimes spammers join and start sharing nonsense. So that's the reason. Yes, okay. so I can understand that. Okay, thank yes, you. Uh, <clears throat> sir, uh, I, I completed my BTEC in electrical engineering in 2015. And uh, after that, I completed my master's in electrical power system in May 2018. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, I was preparing for uh, government jobs. Uh, there was a recruitment in the state power development department. I'm from Jammu and Kashmir. So, mm -hmm. I, I prepared for that almost one year. I took coaching for it. Uh, but unfortunately, <clears throat> the department merged with the corporation and uh, they withdrew. They withdrew okay. those, uh, yeah, the, the, the advertisements. And uh, then in 2020, I joined a company. It was, it's, a, it's a small company here so that I can manage my uh, you know, monthly expenses. I wasn't thinking about uh, uh, Canada at that time. So... During lockdown, I realized that uh, I don't have a career here. And uh, so that, that, that's when I started planning, thinking about uh, Canada. So, sir, uh, <clears throat> I was talking what is to... Your, yeah, what is your current job, uh, Zahir? Uh, sir, uh, a month, you know, uh, the last month in June, I, I left that job. Actually, I had to because, uh, you know, post-pandemic, uh, uh, it's just a small company and it was not financially stable. So uh, they were firing employees. So I had to leave. Okay. So <laughs> so what was your current last job? Uh, I worked as a junior engineer, uh, electrical. Yeah, like it, it was a small company. It manufactures uh, transformers, power transformers and distribution transformers. And it also takes repairs as well. What is your bachelor's stream? Uh, bachelor's percentage? 72.5. Uh, 72.5. So uh, what you could consider is one, if you are interested in master's, we have, we have many students from Jammu and Kashmir uh, who graduated, Simmer, Suryaban, I think a couple of students still in the process now, but many approved. So there is one university, NYIT, they have energy management. This is master's in energy management. Okay. Okay. So have a look at this program one. This is a two years program. And uh, this is in Vancouver. The big advantage for this is if you are lucky to graduate, get the acceptance in this, uh, this program is approved for BCPNP, so basically you will get 600 points in your immigration and it is a guaranteed PR for you. Okay, but it is a competitive program, it's energy management. That is one option what you could check into. Second, Conestoga College has some good programs for electrical students, many programs in fact, for electrical students. So let me share the screen. Conestoga College is located in Waterloo. Have you heard of Waterloo? Uh, yes, sir, I have heard. Let me show you a short video of Waterloo and uh, we can take it forward from there. Just give me a second. Uh, sure, sure. Mar 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 Marichu? Marichu from Philippines. Yes, sir. Good evening. How are you, Marichu? I'm good. Thank you, sir. Uh, I just have some, some more questions to ask. Okay, can I talk to you after Zahid? If you're too, if it is not, then why okay. don't you just call me in the morning? I'll give you my number. Uh, you know, let's connect in the morning. It is something which can wait till morning. This is my number. Can you wake up in the morning? What time do you wake up? 
In the morning, sir? Yes. Um, Like 8 o'clock. Yeah, give me a call. Eight o'clock will be eight p.m. for me. So give me a call when we wake when up, and it's uh, you know I I can talk in without all the people waiting out here if you don't mind. Okay. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you. That, that's my WhatsApp number six four seven eight three three five two five seven. Just send me a message and I'll take it forward from there. Uh, where is it here? Um, in the Zoom chat. In the chat. Okay, sir. I'll check it. Okay. It's 647-833-5257. It's one Canada code. 1-6-4-8-3-3-5257. Okay. 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 okay, thank you. You're welcome, Adi. You take care. So, Conestuga College, uh, let me share you the video here. Waterloo is a place for builders, for people who work hard to make something bigger and better than they could achieve alone. From automotive and advanced manufacturing to information and communications technology, we're not just innovating, we're inventing the future. Thousands of startups and multinational brands work shoulder to shoulder, creating what's next together. Our world-renowned post-secondary schools produce successful founders and dedicated employees, driven forward by cutting-edge research centers, accelerators, the world's largest free incubator, and corporate innovation hubs. The breadth, depth, and quality of these resources form a strong and resilient ecosystem that offers unparalleled support. Wherever you look, you'll see passionate people who take creative risks, try new things, and do more of what they love because of where they live. This is a place where the best and the brightest come to make an impact. In Waterloo, things are changing fast. We're charting new territory, solving complex problems, and growing billion-dollar businesses. We are inventing the future. So that was uh, Waterloo. Uh, you know, this is my home. This is where I live. And it's a very nice place. Just 15 minutes from Toronto International Airport. Very good location. Not expensive as Toronto and uh, very comparatively affordable here. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So in Conestoga, uh, so here the college, I started my career with Conestoga College. It is about... Uh, as I said, uh, multiple campuses, but the main campus is the Doon campus, and they have uh, many good programs. So if you go to the college website, here, click international, okay? In the international, if you go on to the programs, hello? Yes, sir, uh, I'm listening. Yeah, just give me a second. Yes, Gautam Tiki? Yeah, so one of my friends shared your content. So I'm looking for admissions uh, for this uh, journey tech. Okay, parent about your parent? Ah, Abilash. Abilash, now text message from Pista Abilash and Zoom loan Sure, sure, okay. Okay, so this is Conestoga College, and you have to have the king here to programs here and. Sir, uh, meanwhile, you are searching. I have a quick question, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Sir, in Canada, while working in the field of, you know, as an electrical engineer, will I have to, uh, you know, acquire a license for it? Yes. Okay. So, <laughs> all for health or any 
you know, when you're looking, for example, doctors have to do licensing, electric, a lot of opportunities. One of our students recently got, he did his Red Seal and he's uh, doing there. Yeah, so you will have to, you'll get through it. It's no big deal. If you have work experience, you can do it. There's some requirement there for uh, from previous work experience. He's working as an industrial uh, electrician and he's a student. And because he had previous work experience, he got this Red Seal certification. And he is currently as a part-time, he is getting about $30 per hour while studying. Oh, so, that's nice. Yeah, so uh, this is so all you have to look at graduate certificate programs. Or you know, applied energy management, this is one option, applied energy, renewable energy sector, electrical motion and control. So Conestoga has some of the best programs for uh, people who are from IT uh, from electrical background and from mechanical as well. So applied energy management, very good program. This, you can continue this program. <laughs> All right. Okay, Dinesh. Hello, sir. Yeah, Hello, yes, sir. yeah, hold on a second. Hello, sir. My query is very small. Actually, uh, I want to know about the minor visa. I have two children and I'm a teacher in Mirror. Okay. I want to know about minor visa. Do uh, uh, Canada so, have... Yes. yes what sir. do you mean by minor visa? Aapke, your wife is studying here? No, 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 no. My kids want to study there and I got... Got a minor question. So again, please wait. There okay. are other also behind before okay, you okay, okay. and I, I am also giving four hours waha pe jo bhi hai, I am following up Aspanji. Okay, okay. No problem. Aap, aap se, in Thiyak se baithega aur suniega. This is also important for you agar if you are planning. But I will be very quick. There is no such thing as minor visa. What you are planning is ki bachchum ke yaha pe padai pe bech ke you want to come here. That is not possible. Okay, sir. Yeah. Just in general jo hai, it is not possible for you to come here and have a work visa just because your kids are studying here. Okay, what's your age, kya hai, Swanji? Uh, sir, my age is 47. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, no. I think you'll have to look at having your kids educated by higher education and they can sponsor you, but there is no shortcut. So let me get back to Zahid, please. Uh, you know, uh, in baad mein ladai hoga kyun, kyun, why I'm waiting for one hour, two hour, and why are you talking with somebody else? No, no, sir, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> That's fine. It happens. You know, there are people. Yes, yes. Sir. Uh, I, I can understand their anxiety. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. So, look at these two programs, what I've just told you. Okay. Yes, uh, sir. Right, right, sir. And Nistoga and invite good option. And we can take it from there. Okay. Sir, uh, while I was, uh, you know, doing my initial research, I was trying to connect with different people, uh, some students who are already studying in Canada or some who, uh, who is working now after studying. Uh, uh, one of my uh, friend, friends, he, he, he got there in 2018. Now he's working. So I was trying to consult different people and uh, they were recommending me, uh, most of them, I mean, uh, for project management, one year project management. <laughs> It is generic. Just give me a second. Uh, I, I see some Ukrainian people here and uh, we are helping them as a volunteer with the visa process. Uh, Raman E. Uh, Katarina Drasvichin. Good day. Katarina Raman, yes, you must know, but I was the cherry's chest, most you please say, Dinis. Yeah. And, and Dinesh, quick reply to you so you don't wait here. Dinesh uh, Kamath. Dinesh is here. Yes, right. sir. Hi. How are you, sir? Good morning. Dinesh, I don't see you anymore in any of the Facebook. Anyway, so getting back. I, I don't see you. Usually, there, if, there are, if you post anything in other groups, I see updates. But anyway, getting back, yeah. Dinesh, until, until you get your visa, there is no question of resigning. To all the international students who are planning to study in Canada, make sure visa is not guaranteed. We have a 70 to 80 percent approval rate. But again, it is very important that you do not leave your job until you get your visa. 
Okay, and this uh, so the only reason I ask this is because I also have to you know serve my notice period, and that will be for whatever the reason is. Don't otherwise again you made a mistake again leaving your job at the time of yeah, visa. Yeah, that's why I was asking. Now it is going to be another issue. So there is no guarantee that you will get your visa. So make sure that you consider all this. If you leave your job, then you will be unemployed if your visa is refused. Okay. Perfect. So if you want to take the risk, you can go ahead and resign, but you have to understand the consequences. If your visa is refused, mm -hmm. you will be unemployed. Yes, I do know that. You will have Thank to start it. So okay, Dinesh. Yeah. yeah, bye. Bye, sir. Bye. Uh, Zahir, so project management, the reason why I wouldn't advise project management, one, because it is a generic program. You don't really have to spend $18,000 to study project management. You can do project management certifications for, uh, you know, for uh, probably 50000 or 1 lakh rupees, 1000 to $2,000. So is it, does it make sense for you, second, to spend so much money? Second, you don't really have a lot of experience, right? Third, very important to choose a program which is relevant to your work experience and has future career projects, prospects. So project management, karne ke baad, what will you do? I would I would definitely, you're, you're 20, 28, right? Yeah, or 26. Yes, I, will, I will be 28 in March, 2023. Yeah, so I would always put my money on a technical program. Technical programs, you can justify, you can, you have an undergraduation, you do not have masters, you, it, I, it will probably I, give a higher chance I, of money. I have a master's, sir. What is your master's, also in electrical? Yes, sir, in electrical power system. Electrical power system. So, definitely still an option because you could look into applied energy management. These are parallel programs. I would definitely first choice, I would put my money in technical programs. And then if there is no option, then project management. Sir, uh, applied energy management. Sir, is it for two years or one year program? Uh, let me just check in. Applied energy management, I think in, in Algonquin think College, you're... it's a two-year program, applied energy management. Okay, sir. <clears throat> Since uh, I... I, I will be looking for three-year work permit because, sir, uh, the primary aim is the PR. Hello. So, yes. Yeah, I understand. But again, you know, most students, Lavina, just just a second. Hello? Uh, uh, yes, Lavina, tell me a bit. Hello? Yes, yes, I'm listening. But you may have Zoom, may home, call me after two o'clock, okay? Everybody has received ADR these for some reason. Mm -hmm. So please, okay. yeah, I'm, I'm in the Zoom every day from nine to one o'clock. So at one o'clock, two o'clock. Mm -hmm. No, nah, there are many people out there today. Monday is a busy day. Call me after two o'clock, let me know. Take it. Take it. I'll call you back after. Okay, so most students study two years, one plus one or a two year program, because when you have three years, you will be you will be able to find a job, finish your one year Canadian work experience. Also, you know, important to understand the immigration process as well. So there are some changes coming this year and they might be a bit of twist. So make sure you always have three years postgrad. You have time to find a job and do it. So end of the day, 99% of the students who come to Canada, international students, they study for two years and get a three-year postgraduate program. Right, sir. Uh, yeah, sir. <clears throat> okay, sir. Sir, uh, since I have work experience after 2020, so... I have gap from May 18 to until 2020. So, will that affect my study work, uh, study permit approval? 
as long as the reason is genuine it doesn't sir uh, i can what i can provide is the notification the advertisement notification and the withdrawal notification for those posts which i was preparing for and i can uh, uh, i i i can uh, have the you know uh, the letter from the institute where i was taking coaching for that uh, if, if 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 this can work then that's fine it's you don't really have to do that uh, evidence is not really proof is not really really required that's why andre prasad the motion chair is charged please say any cheese yes it has run its assessment to get the correction okay so zahir it's not really an issue two years gap very important is your educate academics and your work experience consistent two things are very important gap you can explain that you were preparing for the program so no big deal with that Right, okay so as i said we have hundreds of students and uh, in conestoga this is my hometown and uh, uh, you know we have hundreds of students 200 150 to 200 students every year i think more than 1000 uh, i guess my friend also studied from there uh, he also studied uh, project management after uh bachelor's in civil engineering and then uh, followed by uh, diploma in supply chain sorry uh i said uh, my friend also studied from the same college uh project management for one year after civil engineering and uh, then followed by supply chain management i guess so okay. sir i okay i i want be taking sir a lot of time since there are many others uh, in the queue uh, sir will i uh, uh, can i connect to you uh, tomorrow uh, because sir i have something to discuss about my work experience because as i mentioned it was a small company i was being paid in cash i oh, so that is going to be difficult in future as well you know you have to be careful if you are paid in cash if you have an employer confirming all that see there is by law zahir yeah. there is nothing like paying cash <laughs> okay if if the company had enrolled you officially they will be transferring the salary from the account if they are showing you as an employee that is good but again it is a risk factor for you in the future okay if the company because why because there are so many things happening to show the to gain the experience and get the points people sometimes tend to do fake experiences so irc is right, looking at that i understand very important that you understand the risk if you are paid in cash yeah. and if you you will have to have a confirmation from the manager that you are paid in cash but again it ring bells when you say that uh, absolutely sir i do understand and that's why uh, i mean i have been consulting to you know uh, seeking help from different people uh, from past couple of months uh, uh, i i talk to my employer and uh, the unit head he his uh, he uh, he told me that you know what he can do he can provide me the offer letter okay and the salary i take with the detail of the salary breakdown and he can also uh, do uh, 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 provide me the pay slips uh, like printed and then uh, sealed and signature by the uh, concerned authority Okay, if it is a genuine work experience, then it makes sense. So, go yes. ahead. Do you have your IELTS yes. score? Yes, yes. yes. since it's a, it is it's a small uh, small company, very small, very small company in the Jammu city. It doesn't have a working website, also. That's fine. We don't even have a uh, extensive website; just a very static website. Yeah. Uh, but still, we do. So, getting back, do you have your IELTS? Yes, sir. I have my I I had my result uh, the day before yesterday. I got seven point five overall. It's very good, very good. Yes, sir. Yeah. So this Zoom link is ahead. This is a permanent Zoom link. Mm -hmm. This Zoom link is active from ten ten thirty India time till ten thirty Canada time, and uh, after twelve o'clock, Anil ji, who's the director of our India team, he is also there every day. Arundhati ji and Anil ji from our team, they are in our in in the Zoom, so you can talk to them during the daytime. or i'm here all day till 1 o'clock but uske baad i have my meetings i am a regulated canadian immigration consultant so yes, this zoom link like 24/7 okay sir i got it so so sir, one of the students i i think i think she she got uh, 
uh, in Canada through your uh, organization. She recommended uh, it to me. We have thousands. Yes, sir. <laughs> so what we do is we provide extensive support. Yes, I cannot replace your mom and dad. I cannot drive you around, be your taxi driver. But again, if there is anything you need help stemming from the study visa, tell Immigration Express Entry, we do it free for our students. Yes, sir. that's wonderful. Okay. So, Tih has I had, you know, I will connect you with uh, Abhinav from our team. Are you in touch with Abhinav? Uh, no, sir. I, actually, I did a uh, message on, on one of the WhatsApp numbers and they gave me a number of, uh, I'm, I'm forgetting a name. Let me see. Suchi and uh, Abhinav. Uh, Suchi, Suchi, ma'am. Yeah. Okay, they gave me the number of Suchi, ma'am. So, can you share your him. number and Abhinav, can you share your number, Abhinav? Mm -hmm. Uh, sure, sir. I can share my number. So Abhinav is also from a North India team from Delhi. So please be in touch with him. Sure, sir. Okay. I had to put it here with the Abhinav, sir. Okay. Abhinav, any of these programs open, please reach out Zahir. The problem with Canada, Zahir, is that we have very limited institutions here. So make sure that you do not delay if there is anything you are interested, especially programs, they close at very, very, okay, they, they close very fast. Sure, sir. I will be looking into uh, these programs which you have just suggested me. Yes. Okay. Yeah, please go ahead. Uh, nice talking to you, Zahid. Be in touch with Abhinav. Get this done as soon as possible. Okay. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you, sir. Have a good yeah. day. You too. Bye-bye. There's one more program, Zahid. I'm not sure if it will work out. Uh, they do not accept students without... Uh, if they have a gap of five years after studies, Algonquin College, this is in Ottawa. They also have a one year program in energy management. Okay, very good university, very good location, interesting, uh, but again, uh, competitive. When did you finish your master's? Uh, in May 2018. There is, uh, yeah. I took the final exams in May 2018 and the result uh, declared bit after four or five months. Okay, four years. So might still work out. Check this program as well. Okay. Sure, sure, sir. Okay, sir. Take care. Okay, thank you. Mahesh, are you here, Mahesh? Mahesh Babu Bandaru, okay, I think I have not. Mahesh is exited, I guess. And then Prini, Prini, are you here, Prini? Hi, sir, good morning. Good morning, Prini. How are you today? My thik, what question? I'm also good. Sir, uh, if you remember, I was talking to you and Shivani man on, uh, on my parents' visa. So, mm -hmm. the process ho gaya. The only thing is, with my parents, I'm thinking to call my sister too in this year. But unka scene is that, sir, I'm going to next year uh, study permit. Mein hi bula rahi like she did her bachelor's of computer science. 
एंड फाइनल एग्जाम हो गया नाउ शी इज वेटिंग फॉर अर रिजल्ट एंड वंस एवरी थिंग गोज वेल शी हैज लाइक नाइन पॉइंट टू पॉइंटर विद पुणे यूनिवर्सिटी Pune University is very difficult. Uh, yes, sir. So I I was like I was making sure right from the beginning that she is well focused so that she can get into good universities in Canada, maybe mm-hmm. with some scholarship and all. The only question I have, sir, if I call her right now and visit a permit like visit a visa, will there be any issue while she applies for study? What is she doing now? she is uh, like she's waiting for her exams result and she got a job offer with accenture as well accenture and wipro back in india so she is in a question mark whether she should do one year of experience in india and then be here or directly try for next year or uh, whatever it take to be here it it does take at least 8 to 10 month, 12 months to go through the entire process Mm-hmm. Uh, I wouldn't advise visitor visa for me. Okay. Okay, visitor visa for young adults who are mm-hmm. in college, unless they have a travel history, it is a lottery fifty fifty and might be refused. So there okay. is no advantage unless there is some special event or something which you really want to hear. We are paying mm-hmm. a lot, and okay. once a visa is refused, it will be a pain in the future if you are planning for study visa for your sister. Okay. okay. Don't do visitor visa. It's high risk. Focus mm-hmm. getting into you know very top universities, right? For the interest, so directly by the time you apply and do the process, um, it it will take about six to eight months at least if she is lucky. Most okay. universities are already closed, right? For uh, September intake, January you might be lucky to get into some institutions. But again, I'm planning for September twenty twenty three. then that's fine so that's that's very good she'll have so that's uh, what in this one year of time i was thinking if she can visit me here like I, if i'll be i'll get into pr process like will that increase my possibility no, or nothing no. to do it is her status she is a young adult and in a just mm-hmm. recently graduated started her job very limited travel history it's a refuse Okay, sir. Okay, yeah, that's what because I was thinking either I go to India or I'll call my advantage. parents. There is no advantage bringing her here to me. Okay, okay, sir. Then I'll ask her to wait for a year. That's best. I don't really. Because what is important coming her to pursue her studies is more important. Resting visa at this time is not really a priority. So okay. don't any don't take any steps which will mess up with her study visa visa process. Okay, sir. Then that sounds perfect. And uh, I'll talk to Shivani, ma'am. Like my process for parents' visa is almost done. Like uh, all the documents and paperwork is done. I think uh, we might set up a call with you for form filling. Yeah, I mean, you she will you will, she will she will update me whatever is required and will mm-hmm. action. Okay, okay, sir. Yeah, that that's the only thing. Yeah, well, thank you. Thank thank you. Bye. Mahesh, I think Mahesh is not here, and then Ritu Sharma. Ritu, are you here, Ritu? Hi, Gautam sir. Yes, Ritu. How are you? How are you? I'm good. Ready? How are you? I'm I'm good. You're Mani's sister, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. yes so, please. so I was in uh, I was in uh, touch with Abhinav, and we were present. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Yes, sir. So, just a second. So, sir, uh, the problem was I was in touch with Abhinav, and uh, we are finding out that uh, it is showing that, like, uh, from eleventh of uh, July till eleventh of July, the applications are closed for Algonquin College. Uh huh. Okay. 
so i have no idea like what to do right now which is the next which is the next what next intake for the program uh i was planning for january actually but uh, so, i mean did you see the program you are very specific about anglin from college the program right so did you see the next intake meeting is it offered in um, may or only september next september i guess september Uh, but uh, the the application is closed till uh, July eleventh. Like there's July. a temporary. There it is uh, written like this. There's a temporary uh, uh, applications close. Yeah. Let me reach out to Algon and I can check in. Okay. Abhinav, okay. okay. Yes, Abhinav. Let me reach out to the manager of international in Algon in and I can check in with them. Okay. And uh, also, sir, uh, what is the difference between Ottawa, Ottawa campus and uh, the other campus? The campus offered was Perth campus, I think, which Abhinav showed me. Uh, I think it's. Just give me a second. It's basically. Did you see the? Perth is a, a suburb of Ontario. Uh, it's a Perth is a suburb. Mm hmm. Now of uh, Ottawa and it is more. So I I guess Ottawa is more preferable, right? Yes, Ottawa campus. Like Ottawa, it is preferable, but if the program is not offered in the main center, you have no option but to study here. So looking at the directions, so yeah. When uh, I was looking for the uh, for the course, it was offered in Ottawa campus as well. Okay, Perth campus is like you know you see the difference. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, if you're looking at the main campus at Ottawa, that's good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So so what's the next option? Like I uh I can't like sit for one week just like that, right? I have now all my documents ready with me. If I can apply somewhere else, for that somewhere else. Suggest. You have you have very limited percentage. There is very limited yes. options. Close now, right? What was the second yeah. option? The priority. Second option, I think, was Kunestuga. Which program? Interactive UX media. design. Yeah, interactive media management, or like more preferable is uh, UX design. Did you or find human centered design? User experience design is offered in Humber and uh, Elkhorn. Yeah, so Conestoga does not have any of these programs. Yeah, Conestoga has interactive media management. Only interactive media management. Abhinav, yeah. is it? Abhinav, I think it's. Just a second. Humber will work, not work out very. Humber is a very competitive. I don't want you to register the application, please. And Humber starts very early. Okay. I think Humber is closed as well. It's a program. If you uh, not available, not available. Like right? you're very late. Okay. So if you look at this program in Humber. Hmm. One Humber is very competitive. They start one year and it is a three semester program. It's about twenty four thousand hmm. dollars. You want to apply for this, then we can. But I will be very supportive. But I guess uh, it will be offered in September only. I guess right. Well, it it is. January is closed. It it is close to only and again twenty four thousand dollars. Okay. And January is close close right? Most institutions in Canada they open. You have to start the process for January eight to mm -hmm. ten eight to ten months before the start date is what is advisable for Canada for all institutions, especially in Toronto. Okay. Okay. Main touch with yeah. Abhinav. He he can check all the programs. What he's in, what you're interested, and if anything is open, he will apply. But I suspect that nothing will be open at this time. You know, in each program, there are only thirty to thirty-five seats in the group. This mm -hmm. group 
to 70 for the whole world, including India, including India. Okay. Okay, Ritu. So, yeah. being and if anything, every day we receive updates from the colleges if there is anything which will open. Okay. Okay, so currently you're saying that there's no option right now. There is nothing. You, you see yourself everything. Yeah. You have checked all the options, right? Yes. It's not, you can count on fingertips. In your specialty, it is St. Lawrence two-year program, number three semester program, Algonquin, and in Conestoga College, that's it. And Sheridan. Sheridan is very costly. Again. Sheridan is costly and competitive. Sheridan, Sheridan is, you no know, Sheridan graduate. When it comes to animation and UI, they are very, very competitive. Sheridan animation. They are students mm -hmm. who have graduated and working in Hollywood and give us worked Oscar nominations as well. Very okay. top requirement in Sheridan. Okay. So, and Sheridan is located in Brampton, Mississauga, which is the, uh, which is the India or Punjab area. And mm -hmm. every who comes from Punjab will want to go to Sheridan as a priority. So, the day one this is open, the floodgates, thousands of applications will come. Okay. Okay. So be in touch with Abhinav Betty and we'll take it forward from there. Okay, sir. Sure. Okay. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, Yati. Uh, Ajantan from Sri Lanka, Ajantan. Uh, hi. Uh, Can you hear okay. me? A second. Uh, New Newton, Newton, sorry. Newton, yes. Uh, for January intake. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, so, uh, I'm comfortable with me as well. You know, at this time, it's a bit late, but let me know if you're interested for which intake. Uh, May intake, sir. May intake. Let me know the program and uh, the college, and I will check in. Okay? Okay, yes. Thank you, sir. Okay. We will be shortly getting agreement for Bow Valley College, Northwest College in Edmonton. Okay, okay. So eight and eight does not have PG programs. Uh, but most of the courses are short duration, so I was thinking whether it will be a good idea to go with Alberta. What, what is your age? Uh, 30. Not a bad option. PNP, you know, might work out. Okay. It's just the programs, given that, you know, they are very limited. Saskatchewan has some good programs. Okay. The sketch one politic, they have cloud programs. Look into that. Yeah. Okay. Cloud yeah. computing, cloud computing and big data. I think the sketch one has this interesting program. I can check in there. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Okay. Yeah. Buy it. Yeah. Uh, Ajantan, please. Got them, sir. Uh, just, yeah. just a uh, minute. So, just mm -hmm. uh, can you just update me on this uh, album Concrete College? Yeah, I will update Abhinav you know, very quickly with anything. Okay. Okay, okay, sure. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, Ajantan, yes. Uh, yes, hi, hi, girl. Uh, we spoke to you uh, two or three weeks before, and we are from Sri Lanka. Do you remember us? Yes, I remember yeah. you and your wife. Yes. Yes, myself and my wife. Um, so we, we are the age of uh, 42, as you know, and we have uh, spoken to. Um, um, who is it? Arun from yeah, Chennai, and he directed us to take the uh, Duolingo exam, uh, which my wife has taken uh, last week. So, um, uh, and um, today when he spoke to us, he said well, there's a very less chance for us uh, um, in case of our age and uh, the country situation. Well, so, I mean, um, you know, when I spoke to you as well, I told you first as well. 
uh, you know, older the person, higher is the risk. We have many students approved, and I told you myself, I yeah. you know I applied when I was 38, I'm 47 now. But yes, there is a risk of refusal, which you will have to understand, especially given the current situation in Sri Lanka. There's so much of issues happening with Sri Lanka as well. So, you know, the best you could do is try your best and hope for the best. Is there a way that, uh, sorry to interrupt, is there a way that we can connect uh, one to one session with you and uh, speak more? Uh, um, we, we cannot guarantee your visa. Uh, you know, we, I, uh, as I told you, we can only hope for the best, do the best, but we cannot guarantee your visa. That is not, you know, I'm not the visa officer. You understood, have to, understood. Other than that, there's else we can do here. Yeah. So uh, no, uh, my question is like, is there a way that uh, I can connect to you in a one-to-one -one session to get some more detail about this? Um, is there, a, uh, when can you be available free? I'm never free. I'm working 16 <laughs> hours a week. This is, this keeps on going on nonstop. Uh, all right. Okay. Okay. So like any basic information my team will give you, right? Okay. As to the visa process, we will, uh, they will provide me everything. I will check everything before it is submitted. However, I cannot assure you guarantee on the visa. That is out of my jurisdiction. I cannot do that. What I can advise you is the relevant program. Who's, so your wife, she's in, she, she is working in a university, right? Yes, Learning. yes. She is a lecturer in the University of Colombo. That is and right. you, yeah, you directed me to apply for the. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Send me a message. I'll try to connect to it, but it will be a late bit late for you. I have a window for lunch between 1 p.m. and 2 p.m. I'll try to give you a call and we can oh, talk. Never mind. But again, okay. same thing. I'll tell you the same. Yeah. The best option for you or for your wife is given that she is working in uh, education management, master's in education management programs. Yes, right? that is the one. Yes. Second, it is important to apply step by step one your wife will apply first and then after a visa is approved she starts studying then you can apply for dependent visa because applying together as a wife and husband in one application is a high risk of visa refusal because it is very difficult to show ties to your home country no, uh, we, we are also planning to apply. Um, um, first, she, she will apply. And then uh, once she gets the visa and when she goes there, then she uh, myself uh, will be uh, joining with her as a dependent. So, But uh, when Arun spoke to us today, he, he gave a very less scope, uh, um, said that um, it's, it's like a pointless thing. Like, um, no, it's uh, so not. I think it's a 50-50 lottery. I would definitely do that. We have many approved, but it is oh. still not something which, uh, you know, we, uh, I would say is, don't want to give false uh, hopes on that, but older the person, higher is the risk of visa refusal. That is something which you really have to understand. And second, uh, you know, uh, we cannot we cannot influence the decision. It is the visa officers. So, so, so yeah, uh, but uh, the, what is the important document they are expecting from us uh, to submit to, to get the visa, in, especially in Sri Lanka? <laughs> but are the things that they are expecting? We will work on work with you on all that. Uh, it's finance, your experience, your financials, your uh, you know the statement of purpose. Why you want to study at this age? What are the future prospects in Sri Lanka? After you graduate, these are the standard documents. The visa officer will make a decision based on. Yeah. So the visa officer will make decision based on, and you know, one, what is the current profession, right? Okay. Yes, yes. So if you study, what are the advantages? What are you gaining from investing your time and money at this age? Okay. Okay. So it is. You know, it, it, there is no guarantee formula here. We can yeah. definitely, I, I, as I told you, you know, for, for India, we have about 70 to 80% approval, right? Yes. And, and I hope, and Sri Lanka has also been very good. Sri Lanka, before the crisis started, Sri Lanka, I was actually planning to open an office in Sri Lanka. Oh, is it? Oh. Okay. Yeah, I was planning an office and when the crisis hit, 
it things really got messed up. People can't even, uh, you know, send money out of Sri Lanka. How is the situation now? Ah, uh, it's getting a day by day very worse. <laughs> Is it improving now or worse? No, 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 no. Mm, Going no, bad. No, no. Such a beautiful country. I have <laughs> <laughs> they have all messed have messed up the country, actually. So you think no hopes because you remember when financial when the country gets in trouble, then visa approval rates go down. Yeah, that's mm, the thing. For example, those countries like Syria, Yemen, and all that. They have civil war and fighting going on. People from those countries hardly Sudan. They don't get visas. That's the thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why? Because from the study visa perspective, there are no prospects back home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. But let's do our best. Don't give up. It is definitely. Yeah. And I, I, you know, I told you, uh, you know, I was thinking for an office in Colombo. Your wife is a lecturer. She probably knows all the students out there. <laughs> yes, from Colombo, and I would love to support you guys. And if everything, sure, sure. You know, maybe your wife can also work part time while she's studying. Uh, I would love to support you guys as well. Let's take it forward. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Let, let's see. But you know, I have seen so many exceptions with IRCC that you can never be guaranteed that your visa will be refused or approved. We can generalize it. But again, there are always exceptions here, and mm. it's still worth taking the risk because there's nothing much you can do here than going ahead and trying. Okay. Okay. So that gives us a hope, really, <laughs> because the the whole day we were like um, a little Not bit. Really, of, I uh, tell you, uh, let me show you this message. Uh, it might be a bit personal. But there was one gentleman, uh, Sri Sridhar. I'm, I'm okay. sharing, actually sharing his screen. Okay. So here, he is 42. Okay. Can you read him? No, I, I can't see the screen, sir. Ah, uh, yes, yes, now I can. Is it possible to maximize? Oh, okay. So he is studying here. Yeah. Can you read it? Ah, uh, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So his he is forty two. Okay. So I I told him it's going to be very difficult for you when coming here, starting your career again. He's an electrical engineer. Okay. Mm -hmm. So he in, he was at my back for almost about six months. Let me try. Let me try. I said, you know, he had a very good salary, almost about four thousand, three thousand or four thousand dollars in India, and he decided, uh, you know, like he he was in the U.S. many years ago when he was young and he could not live. He always wanted his kids abroad, his family. Mm -hmm. So at the age of forty-one, he actually did his masters. And uh, we applied for his dependent visa, so they received a pa passport request. All right, okay. All right, so, and, you know, like you say, it's a great pleasure for your association communication through this change of life. Thank you for all your kind of friendly support. But to be honest, I it was his hard work, you know. True, it's, true. He, he, at the age, going out there and doing all that. So it works. I, this is what two days ago the message was. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. Yeah. So, so hope that we can uh, try it. Yeah. Yes. So because yes. We, we don't have other options, so that's why. Yeah, okay. actually, we, we actually uh, started a bit, bit late. We, we were thinking um, like uh, two three years before, but we um, we had some other issues, so we so uh, now only we have starting it. But definitely, we are anyway uh, trying to do uh, like um, go with it and um, to achieve this one. So. Um, so definitely we will work on this one very hard and um, I hope you will also give us, um, um, you will you'll also. We will definitely do our best, but again, there's not really yeah. much here. It's general, you know, there is no miracle here, which we do. It's basically the applicants, academics and consistent work experience, which we, which is usually the key for the visa approval. 
So basically, it is one, uh, you know, academics and work experience is the key and the statement of purpose. Statement so of why purpose. you want to study? What are the prospects? Where uh, is uh, Danusha, you know, going after her master's? What are the prospects in the university? You're working as a lecturer, right? Yeah. Then she want to go to a management side of the education. Yeah. Be it or uh, you know uh, up to a vice chancellor you can go it right one of my colleagues you he worked as an international recruitment officer in george brown college and then in another college cambria yeah. and then he's now the dean of international in mohawk college oh, oh great okay. and Raj yeah yeah he was also an international student and he was from an international background like me we worked oh. we used to meet in the conferences and he's the dean now is the, yeah. the so like that so yeah i also have thinking okay so uh, i have completed my academic side and the business administration with have completed but i don't have any administrative uh, quality so administrative positions i didn't uh, be there so that's why i think this uh, degree will uh, uh, very big uh, suit to get a leadership uh, quality so some to administer to get the administrative positions i think it will this degree will definitely support that because as we are the academic that we should be uh, in the teaching as well as the administrative position also we should take it so that's why sure uh, i think maybe can give this justification yes so i've, I've given you my cell number send me a message okay and, uh, you know, if there is anything else I can add, we can talk. But again, I have, we've already discussed everything, you know, what can be done. So step mm -hmm. by step, we currently have this, get your IELTS or Duolingo. You, you, what is your Duolingo sport, uh, Danushan? But, uh, yeah, but within the three days, I did that. 95 is the uh, overall thing. So I have to do it again. Very so, low. Danusha, yeah, that's it. Very low. You have to score or at least 130, 125 to 130. One, okay. Oh, oh. So, uh, may you know when is the deadline for this course, specific course? Uh, uh, in main there, leadership there, in three times a year. So, there's no deadline. Three times a year means uh, uh, is there any recent date uh, to the deadlines or something? What's the recent date for the deadline? Can you there is that? no deadline. They have okay. ongoing, they, they, they have rolling admission. So no okay. issues. Currently, they are they are doing for January intake. It will be open for some time. But you really have to improve your English. Okay, so okay. Ninety five okay. is very low, then, Mr. Okay. Send okay. me a message on WhatsApp. Okay. okay. I'll send you a message. Okay, yes. okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, okay. Ajantan, send me a message and we'll take it forward. So, uh, Ajantan, are you a Sinhalese or Tamil? Tamil, right? We are Tamils, yes. We are Tamils, right? Because Danushantini is more a Sinhalese name. I was wondering. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, we, we are Tamil. Both of us are born in Jeffna Tamils. We are Jeffna Tamils. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay, so definitely we will give a call to your WhatsApp number, sir. And uh, Yeah, I'll, I'll message you um, tonight. Message uh, me again. It's the same thing what I've told you. So let's get... Okay. There's not really much you can do now. The first thing what you have to do to even start the process is to increase your IELTS score. Mm -hmm. IELTS score is the critical dual in war IELTS. 95 is you have only three days, right? You mentioned practice. So mm -hmm. try, to, try to do the best. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank, thank you so thank much. You. Oh, yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. Take care. Okay. So I think uh, who else? I don't see Avina, Avina, Kerala, Mohit. Uh, Nishan, Ka Akhil, Kartik, please. Yeah. Any of you? Hina Baluch. Hina, I think Hina, uh, yeah, please. Yeah, let me talk to Hina. She's been here as well. Assalamualaikum. Uh, Waalaikum uh, salam. Thik, Alhamdulillah. How are you doing, sir? All good, Hina. Okay, that's great. Uh, okay, sir, I would uh, like to start that uh, uh, about my background and all. 
Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, I talk to Arsalan as well, and he keeps on telling me, but actually speaking to you is more of a relief uh, and to take it from your mouth, actually. Achha, uh, sir, now it's like that, that uh, I have done my uh, bachelor's in business administration and I passed out in 2014. And uh, then I did. Where are you from, Hilam? Betty, are you uh, are you from Baluchistan? Se kahan se no, 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 sir. I'm from pa- I'm from Pakistan, Sindh, Hyderabad. Up Sindh, Seva. Okay, because Baluch, you know, your last name is Baluch. I thought maybe you're from Baluchistan. Sorry no, no, for that. No, no, no. Yeah. No, but it's okay. are you Baluch or not? Uh, not Baluch? Yes, sir, we are Baluch, but we are not that Baluch that belong to Baluchistan. So we don't even speak Baluchi. We speak Sindhi. Yeah. Okay, so there are different Baluchis as well. Okay, I didn't know that. Different Baluchis, absolutely, G. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Mm-hmm. So, sir, so I did my master's uh, in 2019, and that was an MBA in innovation and entrepreneurship. Mm-hmm. And, uh, okay, I worked uh, when I was doing my MBA, I got the teaching assistantship in the university. And that is Mehran University. And I did that for one year. And then I actually delivered a baby and I got like eight months gap. And then I'm working at the moment. I am actually uh, currently working in a K to 12 school systems. And I'm working as a section head and a, a member of the academic and core administrative committee. So all the policy decisions and uh, uh, decisions of those kinds are taken by me. And even I'm, I'm 30. I'll be turning 31 in August. That's very nice, Betty. See, you and your communication skills are very good. I talk to so many people from Pakistan, but very nice, very nice. And uh, yeah, you know, excellent profile. Uh, it, okay. it is a perfect spot for uh, the Trinity Western Masters in Education Management. Uh, you know, it's, it's a very good program and I hope everything works out for you. But how about your academics? Uh, yeah, so I, uh, my academics are, I, I find it alhamdulillah good. Like I, in my bachelor's, it was 3.8 GPA out of four CGPA. And in master's, I got four on four CGPA. So I was actually a gold medalist over there as well. Uh, yes. I have just, uh, I recently given my IELTS by, because my inclination was towards uh, immigration, but I actually, and because of the research and I got the backlogs and everything. So I thought that it was a bad idea, but I, I actually have just recently given general IELTS and the result is due on Friday. 8th of uh, uh, July, but as Arsalan told me that you can go for Duolingo as well. So when I practice, like I was given some practice test, I have not yet actually attempted it, but during the practice test, I got 115 uh, as uh, the result, right? So as you just were telling uh, those uh, couple from Sri Lanka, that you, one could three, easily do, you could easily do 120 or higher. Uh, inshallah, yeah, absolutely. And I'm, I'm sure you could do it. It's no big deal. Your communication skills are very yeah, good. Exactly. So you've already I, given your IELTS. Yes, I've given a general, yeah. General IELTS, okay. Yeah, yeah. See, I, I, you know, general IELTS is for immigration. For academics, you have to do either Duolingo test or you have to go into uh, this. Uh, Narish, what is the Duolingo requirement for uh, uh, for the master, for Trinity Western University, Mahesh? Uh, Narish, sir. Uh, sir, 115, sir. 115. 115 or 120? Actually, recently they mentioned, sir, 115. 115. Thank you, Narish. Okay. Yes. Uh, Achha, sir, I would like to add here that uh, in my conversation with Arsalan that uh, I'll be going for the SDS stream because I know the visa, visa chances are more and I've done my research as well, right? Uh, but so the problem lies, I don't know if it's a problem, but Arsalan told me it is like, I, I think you were also mentioning to that couple as well, that I have two kids, okay? And one is, uh, one will turn uh, six in December, in November, November, sorry. And the other one is three and a half, okay? And sir, I would like to move with my family, I mean, my husband and my two kids. Now- yes. You are, so I I can understand, Hina, but um, you know, you're cutting your roots off. If you are mm-hmm. a tree, just an example. Yeah, mm-hmm. in, in Pakistan, it is not India, Hina. It's not right. China. The visa approval rates from India, India is about 70 to 80 percent. From China, it is much more. For Pakistan, it is still lower. So okay. if you are going to apply together mm-hmm. with your husband and kids, it is a higher risk of visa refusal. I What I would I advise you is yes, first, get your apply approval as soon as possible. Get your study visa approved and mm-hmm. then you can apply for your husband and find your children. Right after that? Yes, you can apply right after that as well. Okay. Okay. Mm, right. We generally advise 
for the students to start their studies, get their work permit, study permit, and then apply. But in your situation, uh, you know, I would advise you not to take the risk because, you know, your, as your family will eventually join you. Okay. But if your visa is refused once, it is very difficult to get it uh, approved again. Once you apply with your family, if it is refused, it is going to be a pain. Right. And sir, again, like exa exactly what you have been quoting that definitely in IRC. It's a lottery, you know, to be, if you had any travel history and if you really want to play a lottery, you can. I applied with my wife and two kids. Uh, you know, I was the lucky one. Uh, my wife, my, my daughter was two, just about two, and my son was 10 months when we first came and they are grown ups now. Uh, okay. My daughter is like 11 already and my son is 10. So, uh, you know, I had extensive travel history. I had traveled to over 30 countries. I had valid visas to Canada, multiple long term visas to Canada, to US, to UK, to Schengen. And, uh, you know, and, and I think one of the big advantages was also that I, uh, uh, you know, I worked very closely. I was also the president, founder of the Association of Education Agencies. Right. Uh, Acha, sir, uh, I have a question here that, uh, uh, example, if I do that as well, right? And what if the children and the husband doesn't get the visa? I mean, I, it's it's a big big problem. I think if I mean that's as a mother if I feel that is, you know I, I know everybody has to go through this. There are hundreds of thousands of people who go through it. It is only a question of time, right? Mm. We've had situations where most of the times visas are approved. Sometimes there are the unfortunate families where they have refused first time, second time. Uh, but it is eventually approved. If it is not approved for a dependent visa, then after you find a job, you can get them on a PR. It's a lengthy process, but mm -hmm. it is your challenge. Whatever you want to risk, it is up to you, but it is a huge psychological and emotional pressure for a mother to leave children. You know, we can live without husband, spouses, but it's very difficult. Absolutely, absolutely. That's how it is. My kids, I right. have uh, three kids now, and they still come to us and sleep in the night. Beach me out. My little one, she's six, she sleeps with us. And my other two kids, since 3, 4 a.m., they keep on jumping from one bed to another bed. <laughs> Absolutely, that's how it is. Acha, sir, I I had this in mind because Arshan told me the same exactly what you're telling me. Uh, but uh, I was just thinking that uh, why not to go for this? Like, if I get a refusal, maybe uh, if I actually apply with the entire family, so I'll apply the next time. Maybe I do it individually and see what the results are. No, no, no? it will not work out. It is very rare. Once you mess up your first time, for it, it, you know, the first application you put in, it should hit the full sum. Right, if it right. is not, then it will only get worse for the second, but it will not get better. Okay, okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, I got it. Okay. okay, thank you so much. You will definitely have to part with the children if, you know, unless if you want to go ahead with the lottery, but again, it is very difficult. It's right. especially from Pakistan. It's, it's, it's a lottery. What is important? Being with your kids is important or making them a way to come, you know, to start for you to study and create and make a future for them in Canada. What is important? Yeah, that's the later one's important one. That's correct. Exactly. Right. So keep the priorities and let's hope for the best. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. Okay. How, is, uh, how are things in Hyderabad, Viti? You know? Oh, they're pretty good. It's monsoon, so it's raining, and yeah. we're having a lot of load shedding. <laughs> Let's actually no uh, light here, electricity. Uh, but things are better. Things are good. Because I, I'm from Hyderabad, from India. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Achha, yeah. That's nice. Urdu people speak around, and Pakistan, we have many students. But I also yeah. have very good students. I have a good friend from a uh, uh, couple of friends from Pakistan who I grew up. Yeah, okay. Europe, yeah. Right, nice. right. Um, you know, mm -hmm. uh, contrary to all the politics and nonsense yeah. happening, uh, you know, it's such a warm people and all the people we have worked with from Pakistan, 
very nice, very nice, very warming. I actually had one, two, uh, two, a brother and sister. Her dad worked in uh, uh, at the Indian High Commission. Okay. And she was also saying, you know, I live there and it is, they're so warm people and uh, so much of uh, affection for the Indian culture, for in Bollywood movies, and also the people in general as well, very affectionate. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> So, okay, Hina, well, let's pray and I hope everything works out for you. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Whatever you decide, we will take care. Uh, you yeah. know, it's not about money. Uh, it's more, especially, you know, it just, I just want to make sure that things for you first before we go ahead and, uh, you know, uh, take the risk. Priority is very important to understand what is your priority and based on that, you can decide. Correct. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Means a lot. Okay, now take care. Take care. Bye, have a good night. Yeah, uh, Nishant Akhil Karthik, one of you, please. Uh, hi, Gautam. Yes, Karthik, hello. Uh, how are you doing? I'm, I'm good, Karthik, thank you. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing good. Um, so I'm, I'm currently pursuing a supply chain management at Fanshawe College starting this May 2022. Okay. Okay. So I'm looking to apply for another one year course uh, from May 2023. Where are you from, Karthik? Which city in India? Chennai, Tamil Nadu. Chennai. Okay. Are you in touch with Arun from our team? Uh, not exactly. We have hundreds of students from Chennai, and uh, let me just share you our uh, WhatsApp group for Tamil students. We 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 have a regional manager who is. Uh, he studied here in Canada a few years ago, but due to family issues, he had to go back home. So this is our WhatsApp group for Tamil oh. students. Please join. And and which any specific institution you are interested? Uh, I've just shortlisted uh, uh, the Durham College program. Data analytics will be Both. done. What is your age? I'm 25 now. 25. Yeah. That's very good. Okay. Sure. This is my number. Uh, 647-833-5237. I've, uh, I've already contacted you. In you called me this morning, Karthik. Is that you? No, no, not me. Uh, I, I've previously, previous week, uh, you just told me like to join the Zoom meeting for any queries. Uh, but the previous week was like quite tough for me i had a oh, you messaged me with your india whatsapp number right Karthik? ah yeah 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 that's yes, really. yeah yeah we work very closely with Durham college no issues it would be okay. okay so e even if you want for january we can do it but i think you mentioned you have a co-op right yeah you're, you're right sure about if you're going with co-op or not yeah can, can you give me a missed call from your cell phone Karthik? yeah sure uh, can, I, can, can I call you from my uh, Canada number or is yes, please from your Canada number? Yeah, sure. Just a second. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Mr. Calori. Should I connect a little bit later or to wait? Как вам удобнее подождать или присоединиться позже? Нет, давайте сейчас. Окей, через 3-4 минуты я потом. Yeah, I just started calling Proto. 7-0-7-3-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-2-
I think you're coming in, you're calling the wrong number because uh six four seven eight three three five two five seven. Yeah, no call for me at all. Send me a text message. I just yeah. just say that this is Karthi. Six four seven eight three three five two five seven. So you've decided for me, Karthik, right? Hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. Okay, we we'll, we'll get into no issues. Okay. Yeah, I have your number now, Karthik. And uh, let me connect you. Uh, be in touch with Arun. And, yeah, and sure. you in the, did you join the group? Yeah, I'll be joining right now. I'm on a laptop. I'll just copy it and just. Mm -hmm. I'll do it. just a second. Yep, I did. Okay. Okay, Karthik. We'll, we'll take it forward. Thank you so much, Gautam. Yeah, welcome, Karthik. Take care. Have a good day. Take you care. Too. Thanks for joining. Bye. Bye. Uh, so, Akhil, Nishant, and Ranjit. Hello, sir. Yeah. If you don't mind, can I talk to this person from Ukraine? There's a war going and they need some help. So if you don't mind, Akhil, let me talk to Katarina and then I can get back to you. Okay? Sure, sure, sure. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, Katarina, здравствуйте. Здравствуйте. Да, Катерина, как, как у вас дела там? Я откуда? Из какого города с Украины? Спасибо большое. Мне очень повезло. Я западной Украины, и на данный момент я в Румунии вместе с детьми. У меня, если вы, конечно, имеете возможность ответить на несколько вопросов по визе CUIT, которую я не нашла в свободном доступе. Я, знаете, я с удовольствием помогу, и еще я вам дам координаты, мои сотрудники. У меня офис в Львове. И Оксана там работает. Мы очень много украинцам помогли бесплатно по этой программе. Я вам оставлю также еще, я не знаю, если вы есть у нас Facebook группы, Telegram группы тоже, там очень большая группа, там по 4-5 тысяч людей уже в этом Facebook группе. Я вам оставлю. Я как раз сегодня присоединилась. Спасибо большое. Присоединилась, слушай, да? Хорошо, окей. Хорошо, Катя, я вас слушаю, чем я могу помочь. У меня двое детей, 6 и 8 лет. Я с ними выехала по закордонному паспорту украинскому, но термин их паспортов прошел 25 апреля. Оригиналов свидетельства про рождение у меня с собой нету. Есть скан, копия, которую мне уже потом переслал муж. Mm -hmm. Как ваше мнение? Мне лучше перед, э, сейчас подавать все документы, которые у меня есть на визу, или лучше искать, потратить некоторое время, искать способы получить оригиналы, свидетельства рождения и э, продление паспортов? А паспорта когда заканчиваете? Закончили 25 апреля этого года. 25 апреля в этом году закончились. Я... Э... Вы узнали посольство Румынии, сколько посольство в Украине в Румынии, сколько время занимает сейчас для определения паспорта? Они не должны делать в тот же день, но им опять-таки нужны оригиналы свидетельства о рождении ребенка. А, а, передать... а передать сложно, да, сейчас проблем с этим? Да. Угу. А, понимаете, что будет? Вы можете сейчас подавать, и вы, получ... вы можете получить по одноразовой визе, да, для ваших детей, но потом, вы, когда приезжаете в Канаду, у вас тоже самые проблемы будут. Вам нужно будет свидетельство документов ваши предоставить, это все и продлить. Это все вам нужно будет. Так что, если у вас есть возможности там это быстрее делать, вам меньше головной боли. Да, приехать сюда, в Торонто или Оттава, или где ближайшее посольство в Украине, через всю страну это все приехать, надо достаточно плохо. Будут. Куда вы собираетесь искать? У вас есть тут друзья и родственники? Друзей и родственников нету. Мы собираемся, только вот недавно узнала об этой визе, собираемся искать работу. Я думаю, что знание языка мне поможет. 
и также житло, собираюсь работать в Канаде, и если ситуация улучшится, возвращаться, если нет, ну это уже по обстоятельствам, конечно, только легально. Кем вы работаете, Катя? Еще раз скажите, пожалуйста. Кем вы работаете сейчас в Украине или работали в Украине? В Украине я работала бухгалтером, сейчас я в Румунии работаю на той же фирме, это немецкая фирма, сейчас я работаю, это называется контроллер относится к предвидению будущих рисков компании. Mm-hmm. Интересно. И сколько вам лет? 34. 34, да. Можно тут пройти к аккредитации, можно тоже тут работать. Я не думаю, что проблем с этим. Лучше, единственное, знаете, если вы приезжаете сюда, то не в Торонто, да, не в Ванкувер, очень дорого жизни, поэтому лучше других провинций там дешевле, да, как можно, да. Я так собираю... что... Извините, пожалуйста, маленькие города, потому что маленькие дети удобнее, когда город маленький, и да. думаю, с этим поэтому проще. Да. Mm-hmm. Okay. Вы советуете в первую очередь это продолжить закордонный паспорт, а подавать документы тогда с продолженным паспортом тоже, чтобы были оригиналы, свидетельства о рождении, разрешение супруга на выезд детей или с копиями это проходит И, или знаете, нет? Это, это зависит от срочности вашего. Если вы хотите срочно выехать в Канаду, тогда вы подаете сейчас, как он есть, да? Uh-huh. просрочные загранпаспорта, у вас есть видосы рождения, вы получаете одноразовые объездные документы, если вам срочно уже с Румынии уехать надо. Uh-huh. Если у вас есть время, тогда делайте правильно, потому что вы представляете, вы приезжаете с двумя детьми, а потом вам нужно с посольства обращаться, продлить это паспорта. Это будет намного хлопотно это все. Uh-huh. Я поняла. Скажите еще, пожалуйста, я смотрела ваше видео, где вы рассказывали вместе с Александром, какие документы нужны. Там говорилось, что лучше всего иметь выписку с банковского счета. Сейчас я, например, работаю в Румунии почти пять месяцев. Мне просто взять как бы принт-скрин с моей банковской карточки или это надо обращаться в бухгалтерию, чтобы мне дали выписку, что я получала? Как это? Вообще, не все получили. До сегодняшнего дня нет ни одного отказа. Все получили. Даже Андрей, скорее всего, получили. Андрей лично нет. Андрей тоже у нас достаточно давно уже общается. Поэтому и вопрос, да, я извиняюсь, что я открываюсь, да, спросили. Я получил письмо, что мы ее application canceled, потому что а она была до этого approved. Мы ее выслали. Вот, я поэтому просто не знаю, как так получается. Вот поэтому был такой нашел. Получается, Хотя до этого было approved. Вы получили, а потом написали и application. Вы подавали. Потом мы мы выслали пакет документов. Да, да, да. Мы ждали их, прождали их. Семь недель уже прошло. Уже как бы должны были прийти. Вот. Я получаю письмо, что типа, application was cancelled. Вот на все четыре. То есть я, жена и дети. Вот. Но никакого объяснения, ничего нет. Вот. В чате переписки люди говорят, что после cancel статуса все равно дают визу. Вот. Но ни объяснения, ничего не было. И пришел, как бы, мне ничего не сказали, типа, ждите. Вот, никто ничего не сказал, что делать, я не знаю. Уже семь лет. Я, я что могу делать? Я могу, например, да, отправить меня, пожалуйста, ваша информация. Вы, вы связаны с Оксаной или кто-то из моего офиса или нет? А, да, с кем-то я говорил а, по Вайберу, СИП аккаунт. Хорошо. Я уже выслал. Я да. могу делать первый, да? Я могу обращаться к моему местному депутату тут, member of parliament. Mm-hmm чтобы мы могли связываться с миграционной службой. Это один вариант. Другой есть, да, называется, mm-hmm. первый случай вообще вижу, почему cancel. Вы что-то, может, неправильно делали, Андрей, вы там общались много с людьми, что-то там как-то подавали очень... Да, вроде все сделал правильно. Я даже пришел в консульство, показал этому консулу все документы, весь пакет документов. Вы общались, хорошо, все все вы общались с моим сотрудником или нет? Когда подавали документы? Я написал и показал скрин того, что мне сделали. Вот. Но пока не было ответа. Поэтому я вот... Нет, ну хорошо, я сначала с Катериной поговорю, а потом я с вами дальше. Хорошо? Спасибо хорошо. большое. У меня еще хорошо, пон... вопрос. Да. А, муж, понятное дело, сейчас в Украине. Стоит ли мне сразу подавать а, свидетельство о браке вместе с переводом? 
я так понимаю, что лучше его заявку все документы, Да, все документы, которые на украинском языке, нужно э, переводить на английском или на французский язык. Да? И, а... У меня девочка у нас в офисе Юля, она переводчица. Если да, у вас там сложно финансово, пожалуйста, обращайтесь, она вам бесплатно делает. Если вы уже где-то в Европе живете, там у вас есть работа и деньги, то она, она девочка одна, 30, такой же возраст, как вы, наверное, без родителей, сама живет в Украине. И вот первая ракета, когда попала в Киев, и вот это на ее дом попала в Кошица, улица Кошица, а хорошая девочка, она у меня 10 лет больше, да, больше 10 лет работает. Я вам дам ее данные, обращайтесь, она вам перевод, перевод тоже сделает, но обязательно нужно перевод. Спасибо. Я так читала, что нужны переводы всех документов, кроме паспорта гражданина Украины, который не закордонный, а обычный внутренний паспорт. Кроме него, да? Да, загранпаспорт. Вы, знаете, вот по финансовые документы, да, вы просили. Финансовые документы, вообще даже по финанс, без финансовых документов люди получали. Вот Юля тоже, да, она первый день подала, без ничего. Просто думала, ну, пойду проверю один раз и случайно сабмит сделала, никакие документы не загрузила, финансовое подтверждение. Только твой загранпаспорт она указала, она получила. Uh -huh. uh, спасибо, что, если у вас uh -huh. есть возможность справка с банка брать, можете загрузить справка с места работы, где ваша зарплата, можете указать. Uh, ну, это, скажем так, если есть, хорошо, если много людей нет, финансовой возможности сейчас uh, сложно с этим. Uh -huh. И еще последний вопрос. Нужно, нужно ли детей брать на биометрию, на сдачу отпечатков пальцев? Детей сколько лет? Шесть лет и восемь лет. Не надо. Детей до, по, отменили уже до 18 лет. Уже не нужна а, биометрия. Спасибо вам большое. Спасибо за помощь и за ваше время. Вы, а, вы, пожалуйста, обращайтесь к Оксане. Я дам вам телефон Оксаны. Они каждый день работают тоже. Но если нет военной тревоги, там, да, воздушной тревоги, они все там есть. Если видите, с я его написан. Оксана очень хорошая сотрудница. Вы откуда, Катя, из какого города? Я из города Астрей, это около Львова, недалеко, буквально 70 километров. Маленький я городок. Думаю, я, знаете, похожа на иностранец, но я сам вырос в Украине 20 лет, поэтому я все по Украине знаю, у меня жена с Украины, так что, Оксана, пожалуйста, обращайтесь. И она вам поможет, очень хорошая женщина из Львова, собственно. Если что, пожалуйста, обращайтесь с Оксаной и по переводам тоже спросите ей, она еще познакомит вас с Юлей с моей. Хорошо? Да, спасибо вам большое за помощь. Пишите да. там, если да. нужно. Да, если у вас никого нету, друзья, там есть очень много общественных организаций, есть очень много громадских организаций. Вот я живу в городе Уотерлю, это буквально 50 минут от международного аэропорта Торонто. Очень дорогой город, не советую. Ну, если некуда ехать, то, конечно, можно. Да. Спасибо вам еще раз большое. Хорошего вам дня. Вам тоже, да. Okay. До свидания. Uh, до свидания. So, uh, Андрей, я по поговорю с моим студентом, а потом к вам вернусь. Хорошо. Акил, uh, yes, please. Акил or Ниша? Алло. Спасибо огромное, да. Спасибо. Спасибо. Как вы? Yeah, I'm, I'm good, Aki. Yes, please. Uh, sir, like, I'm from Hyderabad, like, from your place only. Yes, please. <laughs> It's yes, great sir. seeing you like, talking all language, sir. It's really great. Oh, I grew up in Eastern Europe. I was 19 when I left home and I studied in Ukraine, so I speak Ukrainian and Russian. <laughs> like, I've seen you talking all the language that you've been It's really great. Yeah, um, you know, when you're in India, you know Hindi. If you know Hindi, you will <laughs> learn Gujarati and Punjabi and all that. So that's yeah. a professional thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, how can I help you? Sir, I've done my BBA like recently, 2021 September. 2021 September. A commercial kill Hadabad? Hadabad lo Nagal, sir. Upal Legara. Stadium Pakane. Oh my stadium pakane. Mam mom, mom, my parents, my Hindu Ramantapur. No, schooling HPS, sir. Hadabad public school Ramantapur. Oh well, uh, okay. One of uh, 
మేము ఉండేది అక్కడనే ఆపోజిట్ మన రమతపూర్ స్ట్రేట్ ఆపోజిట్ ఒక గల్లీ ఉన్నది చూడు మన మహాకాళి టెంపుల్ ఏదో ఉన్నది అక్కడ టెంపుల్ ఉంటుంది అక్కడ మన ప్రభాకర్ అని తెలుసా బీజేపీ ఎమ్మెల్యే ఎక్స్ ప్రభాకర్ అన్నీ అంత ఐడియా లేదు సార్ అది స్టడీ దేర్ అంతే కానీ అది లేదు అక్కడే ఉంటుంది ఫైవ్ మినిట్స్ ఫ్రమ్ దేర్ మీ నాన్న ఏం చేస్తారు ఓకే ఇట్స్ గ్రేట్ సార్ లైక్ మై ఫాదర్ ఇస్ ఆర్టీసీ ఎంప్లాయీ సార్ వెరీ గుడ్ ఆర్టీసీ కాలనీలో చాలా మంది ఉంటారు అక్కడ అందరు కదా ఆర్టీసీ మన దగ్గర సందీప్ నేను ఐ కనెక్ట్ విత్ సందీప్ ఫ్రమ్ అ టీమ్ ఇస్ డాడ్ ఆల్సో వర్క్స్ విత్ ఆర్టీసీ అండ్ సందీప్ యూస్ టు వర్క్ ఇన్ అవర్ హైదరాబాద్ ఆఫీస్ అండ్ దెన్ హీ ఇస్ కరెంట్లీ స్టడీంగ్ హీస్ అన్ ఐటీ ప్రొఫెషనల్ బట్ స్టిల్ does a part time job with us as well very nice That's person it. like this is my first time sir like one of my brother has suggested this thing so this is the first time this is my first meeting also with this company this is plot with platform manak facebook group lo no akil no a late sir this is my first meeting my brother has suggested this page i have come and i have joined this meeting okay then i'll send you some links we have a very large facebook group link okay so, the bachelor's per percentage into bba lo it is 83 sir very good Bachelor's, I, I have done it in have. Bangalore, sir, from Bangalore Central University. That is very nice. Bangalore Central. Is it full-time or part-time? No, full-time, sir. Full-time. Okay. In Klaendar, how many people in your family? I, my father, my uh, mother and my sister, sir. My sister is doing pharmacy. Second year. That's nice. Okay. So, Facebook is... We have a very large Facebook group of 50,000 people. This so, is a WhatsApp group. Yeah. Yeah. So what have you researched about Canada? So sir, I mean, I think like MBA program Johnny the one could answer like I want to ask you suggestions like which college would be great. Okay. See MBA to be honest I wouldn't advise. Okay. Uh why because MBA in general who studies MBA program so people with work, extensive work experience who already mm-hmm. have reached a certain level in career they want to become a senior position they go for an MBA program. That is what okay. second mba makes sense to study from top universities okay? okay so top universities mba they require 2 to 3 years of work experience they require 4 years bachelor's most top yeah. universities yes. and it doesn't make sense as an international student you're coming to canada you're starting everything as a, on a new page you have okay. zero work experience right okay. here in canada how about in india do you have any work experience in india uh, no sir like i don't have any Like I've just competed in 2021 September. So till now I wasn't doing anything. Just now, if we put out to 21 September till now, why are, you, why are you not doing anything? I was into this thing only, sir. I was mainly preparing my parents to come there. See, it's no big deal. Your English skills are very good and I don't really see an issue for you to score 6.5 with no man less than 6. Yeah, definitely I score. I have that confidence also. I'll definitely score. Like not only IELTS, I was even convincing my parents uh, for me to allow to study in Canada. That took me so long. Okay. So, sir, how about how you suggest like MSc in marketing? Would you suggest that in Canada? MSc uh, in marketing. Uh, so, you have to understand a bit about Canada, Vavikra. We don't have... See, most universities here, they do not accept three years degree per master's. Okay. Wow. Okay. I heard about it. Yeah. So, here you could be... So, most programs here... Yes, sir. Are one year... I mean, 90% of the students who come from business background, they okay. all go to colleges for specific job-oriented degree programs. Hmm. Okay. So, okay. one, uh, colleges offer... programs like digital marketing marketing all these programs they are one year programs one academic year is about 8 months for example i'm not sure did you check the york university video which i showed you yes sir like one of my friend is also doing in york university for finance and banking who is that like uh, recently one of my friend has went for this sector last september intake uh huh um So like she is doing uh, finance is and banking. Her name is Jessie, sir. She is from my place only. Jessie, that's why mommy is doing it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My classmate is doing it. 
You're just uh, okay, Jesseline's classmate. Okay, I know. Ah, same classmate. Twelfth class, same class. Then I moved to Bangladesh and she studied in Hyderabad. That is nice. That is nice. Good. Okay, so I would definitely advise you one get some work experience. Akhil, this is not good. Okay, do you have any work experience in marketing? Like as of now, I don't have anything, sir. Okay, so I would advise you to look into marketing opportunities here. So, where January? Do you already have an IELTS score? No, sir. I'm planning to give it in next month, first week of next month. You have to take Duolingo. Let me just show you a college, and there are some programs open. Okay, so just just give me a second. Definitely double class, and you need to listen to me start. Yes, you mentioned. Yes, sir. Right, Centennial College. This is in Toronto. Okay. I'm looking at some official. So this is the campus here. Just in yes, Can you see this? This is not this. Progress campus. So you can just Google, but very big campus here. Okay. Okay. And and they have uh, this is the campus. You can actually Google. I, I don't, I cannot show other people's, but I was just okay. looking at Sentinel Canal College YouTube channel. Okay, so very good campus here. The reason why I'm showing is this is the only college in Toronto which has actually had some programs a couple of days ago for uh, January intake. So these are the postgraduate. They have programs in strategic management, marketing okay. research analytics, marketing uh, corporate account management. These are the four programs which are good. Interactive media management. So let me share you this program links. And, sure, sure. Uh, you can check it. So one is first is strategic management, which is a one year program. Okay. So they opened, this is the second round they opened and uh, from they started accepting applications from the first. So what you can do is you do not have English files, but you could definitely go in for Duolingo English test. It is an online. Yes, I'm, I'm aware of it. Yeah, okay, so this is strategic management. Second, the other program which was open was again. Look at the seats. What they have? Very limited seats. Yes, five, yes, five, 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 seven, and, ten. Yeah, I'm saying, yeah, marketing oh. research and analytics also a very good program here. This is a very good program as well if you're looking into uh, you know, marketing options. But again, you have to get this done as soon as possible. Sure, sir. Right? If, yeah. if you don't, yeah. if you miss them, then the next option for us is only digital marketing in York University. Okay, digital marketing, okay. Let me... Uh, so digital I mean, marketing is of two years or one year? One year. Most programs, business programs are only one year programs. Okay, then that will be a problem for my 
PSW, no, sir. No, Jesseline is also studying one year program. So there's a lot yeah. of confusion here. It is not the duration of the program, it is the duration of the study. So if okay. you study two one year programs, okay. you will still get a three year postgraduate work permit. We will take care of the entire process. Okay. okay. For example, Jesseline, she studied York accounting. Next yes. year, she'll be going into these programs. Okay. Okay. She might actually end up studying this program. I'll have to actually call her today. So accounting, these very good programs. Have a look at these programs. Sure, and sure, sir. Interactive media management, very good program, but again, it is a bit of a competitive so program. What do you say about international business? It is a waste of time and keep it as a last option. So okay. international business is about everything. You study a bit of HR, you study a bit of different, yeah. but it does not give you a speciality. You need to get a speciality to get into, uh, you know, a job oriented, a job after your graduation. Okay. So this is also a very good program, but very competitive program. Uh, it's user experience design, project management and communication roles in variety industries, but it is a competitive program. And the third semester, actually, they have, uh, uh, you know, three semester program and third semester is a co-op they have here placement okay so check these programs uh, yeah. i think this, if you had any user experience then probably this might have been a good option but okay. unfortunately not will not work out for you uh, how about supply chain management sir is there any scope there seats are not there oh, okay it's already late for january intake Yes, institutions start eight to 10 months before the start date. Okay. So it is not possible to get into an university, sir, for three years of degree. Yes. You can get into universities as well, ah. but it will be a waste of time and effort. Because you need a job-oriented degree, if you want to get into a university, you can get into Niagara University okay. in Toronto. They have an MBA program, but it is $48,000. That's really expensive. Second, you can also look into, uh, right? you can look into University of Canada West at Trinity Western University. I'll show you another university. Uh, Shall share you this link. University of Canada West MU. This is about thirty-eight thousand dollars. Okay. I mean, these are not top universities. Okay. You okay. will not get MBA in any top universities. Okay. Just because one, you have a three-year degree. Second, you do not have work experience. There's yes, one university which we work very closely with. They have MBA international business that's something which you can consider i'll show you a short video of that and then you okay. can decide also very good university we have hundreds of students who study there it is in vancouver uh, and you can submit they have uh, i think today they started this uh, today or tomorrow they are starting this application marathon for cip students they do not charge any application or education assessment fees okay okay sure sure Okay, so this is Trinity Western University. Established in 1962, TWU's main campus is located in Langley, British Columbia, just a short drive from Vancouver and right next to historic Fort Langley, a picturesque university town located on the banks of the Fraser River. In addition to its Langley campus, TWU offers programs through its Richmond campus, the historic Laurentian Leadership Center in Ottawa, a satellite campus in Bellingham, Washington, and the Crow's Nest Ecological Research Center located on BC's Salt Spring Island. Trinity Western is committed to providing transformational education. Focusing on the liberal arts, sciences, and professional studies, TWU emphasizes excellence in academics and research all of which is founded upon a thriving Christ-centered community. With a focus on faith-integrated studies and hundreds of student leadership opportunities, 
It's uniquely positioned to offer students a vibrant life both in and out of the classroom. TWU features 48 undergraduate degrees and 19 graduate degree programs, including business administration, nursing, counseling psychology, education, worship arts, and more. It also offers continuing education and leadership development through certificate and online learning programs. Trinity Western is also home to the Spartans Athletics Program, whose world-class teams have captured national championships in volleyball, soccer, hockey, track and field, and in 2019 it launched its new rugby program. Many Spartans athletes have also gone on to represent Canada worldwide in the Olympics and on national teams. The fulfillment of TWU's mission is reflected in the exceptional quality of its over 30,000 alumni who have graduated and entered the global marketplace drawing on their university education and experience to have a transformational impact on culture. At Trinity Western University, it's not just what you do, it's who you become. So beautiful location, nice place, good MBA. Yeah, that's really great, sir. I'll consider it as an option. Yeah, and very affordable as well. If you look at the tuition fees for this MBA program, and the study load is, if you look at UCW MBA, study load is a bit high. But here, the piece is just about 38,000. Uh, Vancouver is also a very beautiful place to live in, but uh, you can consider. So this is about 36,000, 37,000 dollars. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, this is uh, a two-year master's, but you might be able to complete in about 18 months. And you'll still be eligible to get a three-year postgraduate work permit. Okay, okay. So, okay, so when it comes to city, choice. what would you suggest, Toronto or Vancouver? Which one would be best? No difference. It's all the same. Okay. It all depends on how you make your career. Okay. Like which one would be better for my career? Like for MBA and graduates, which one would be better? Where you are having it. opportunities? Uh, it's opportunities everywhere, but again, as a fresher without work experience, I would never advise an MBA. Okay. Okay, but again, it is your choice. And uh, yeah, what I suggest you is one, I'll connect you with Sandeep from our team. Sandeep, okay. he's here in Canada. His dad works in RTC as well. Okay. Very, yeah, 834-5257. This is Sandeep's number. Okay, and what I can also advise you is, uh, you know, if you, we, we are hiring some interns in our office. Okay. For market. If you are interested, you can also reach out. Our office is in Begumpet, exactly opposite to the U.S. consulate. So, so definitely I'll visit your office. Okay, so this is a permanent Zoom link. This okay. Zoom is active from 10.30 in the morning. Yes, sir. And uh, this is my number. And Anil sir, who's the director of our India team, he is there. Okay. So let me just uh, share you my number as well. What can you share your number? Sure, sir. Definitely. Yeah. I'll connect. I'm you. taking a screenshot. I'll uh, I'll message you, sir. Sure. Okay. My number. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's it. Thank you so much, sir. I'll yeah, be well, in touch. Take your time, but. Uh, get this done yes. if you are mb again it is your choice you know i'm 47 and i've been in this industry for 23 years yes sir i started my journey also as a very young international student so what i'm talking is with experience but however your life it is your journey you make the difference and you bear but the consequence i'm okay with earnings sir that's why i'm here for your assistance Sure, Akhil. No, Anil to Nuxar Matladu and, uh, you know, being unemployed is not good, Akhil. Oh, yes, sir. Visa key is not good. So, no, co co connect with Anil, sir, from our office. Go there and okay. you we know, do some internship in marketing or some position so that it is relevant to what you're doing, applying. Okay? Sure, sir. Sure, sir. Definitely, I'll get in there. Sure, Akhil. Okay. Yeah, take care. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Raman? Hello. Raman, Drasvich, you are still there. Raman, you Victor Pavlin, Victor Tosh, you are still there. You are still there. No, I am still there. Yeah, 
по-моему, вы, Виктор, первый были, да? Я могу с вами, Виктор, если, по-моему, с Романом я раньше общался. Да, Роман? Было давно. Ну, я заходил час назад, вы сказали зайти через час. Да, да я, мне тоже, мне тоже. Я был как бы Дима, ну, то сын мой был, а я же переименовался. Ну, мне говорите или Роману? Давайте вы говорите, да. Ну, я как бы... Звоню, ну, спрашивать по поводу заполнения заявки КОИ. Вот этой. Я как бы заполнил ее, но у меня возникли вопросы некоторые. Угу. Если вопросы по анкете, я вам, знаете, познакомлю с Оксаной моих офисов. Guys, uh, for, for all the other people, uh, let me just talk to Victor, then I will get back to you, and then I'll talk to Roman after that, okay? I see uh, Ranjit here, and iPhone, and Harini. So please bear with me for five minutes. Да. Uh, we, we общались с Оксаной или Анна с моего, или Юля с моего украинского офиса, нет? Нет, не общался. Я вас просто вчера случайно так нажал. Да, я вам сейчас отправлю. У нас очень большая Facebook-группа там по этой COVID виза есть. Также Telegram-группа есть. И сотрудники я сейчас вам скопирую тут. Да, вот первый номер, как раз я пил его, где написано, это Оксана. Вы из какого города, Виктор? Чернигов. Чернигов, да, окей. Да, очень популярный, как в мое время, было черниговское пиво, я не знаю, есть еще или нет. Ну, есть еще, но оно уже, уже не то, уже не было то. раньше. Да, раньше очень популярное было. Это, это ваш сын зовут Виктор или это вас зовут Виктор? Меня зовут Виктор. Сын от Дима, Дима был. Там Дима был сначала. Окей, okay. чем я могу помочь? Э, ну, в принципе, по, по анкете связаться вот э, с первым номером. Да, Оксана, наберите, пожалуйста, она вам поможет с анкетой. Если там что-то не получается, приходите обратно. Тут я каждый день с понедельника пятница. Э, где-то можно, где-то после 11, потому что с утра там у меня в офисе mm-hmm. других стран, я с вами вопросы по обучению и по иммиграции к нам не приходит очень много моих клиентов, поэтому где-то после 11 приходите, хорошо? Хорошо. А вот скажите еще, документы переводить, это как нотариально должны быть или просто достаточно ну, бюро переводов? Там, там бюро после... переводов достаточно. Я вам дам телефон и этот, сотрудницу моей, там общайтесь с Оксаной, она даст вам еще Юля, там, да? не тратите много денег на переводы. Вы где находитесь вообще? В Чернигове, Украина. И вы для кого это делаете? Для вашей семьи, уже? Ну, да, уже... Мы, мы, мы все. У меня как бы, ну, я как бы могу выехать. У меня просто дети как инвалиды. Да, 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 ну, да. они как, как, ну, у них, скажем так, аутический, ну, аутический спектр, скажем так. Вот. Индио их называют, гиперактивные они такие вот. Задержка речи, в общем. Поэтому как бы мы уточняли, что ну, как бы можно выехать. Получили уже. Что... Угу. Тогда да, Кор... Канада хорошая страна, если детей с аутизмом, то достаточно. Да. Угу. Хорошо. Обращайтесь, пожалуйста, вопросы по анкетам с Оксаной. Я каждый день тут, я тут еще буду где-то через час, если она не сможет прийти. Угу. Okay. Хорошо. Хорошо, спасибо. Все, удачи вам. И там в группе я вам отправил там. Фейсбук-группа mm-hmm. и Телеграм-группа тоже есть. Mm-hmm. Хорошо. Окей. Я рад. До свидания. Все, до свидания. Нас связь. Ранжит? Я рад. 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 Yes, sir, yes, sir. Okay, okay. Yeah, I think Sandeep was actually telling me to appear. So, Ranjit, yes, please, Ranjit. Uh, sir, in the middle, uh, two weeks back, I shown to touch on it now. So, regarding uh, second course. So, okay, which program, Ranjit? Uh, data, data analytics in uh, uh, Durham College. Which intake? Jan. Jan, okay. Can I have your number? We'll get it done tomorrow. Uh, submit yes, yes. Have already submit Chile then. Le, submit Chile, yeah, sir. And in Coca doubt to go down the actual girl. So, okay. uh, so 
అంటే వైఫ్ ది వీసా రిఫ్యూజల్ అయింది సో తనని నేను చెప్పాను యాక్చువల్ గా అంటే ఇది ప్రాబ్లం అవుతుంది సో టైం పడుతుంది సో నేను సరే ఇంకా ఇంకా తెలిసిందే కదా సార్ ఓకే సార్ ఒక్క కోర్సు ఐ ఐ ఆస్ టు జాయిన్ యువర్ కాల్ ఆల్సో అండ్ మీతో కూడా మాట్లాడిందంట లాస్ట్ వీక్ ఎప్పుడో సో ఒకసారి మళ్ళీ సార్ అర్థం కాలేదు వాట్ ఈస్ యువర్ వైఫ్స్ ని లహరిక లహరిక ఓకే సో అదొకటి ప్లస్ ఇంకొకటి సార్ యాక్చువల్ గా ఇప్పుడు కొంతమందికి టూ ఇయర్స్ వర్క్ పర్మిట్ వస్తుందంట అది ఛాన్సెస్ ఎలా ఉంటాయి సార్ అది ఫిఫ్టీ ఫిఫ్టీ ఛాన్సెస్ సార్ ఎందుకంటే ఇట్ ఇస్ ఐఆర్సిసి అదర్ దెన్ దాట్ ఇట్ ఇస్ నాట్ నాట్ రియలీ జనరలీ పాసిబుల్ unless there is an error i have seen students who studied one year even get a three or post graduate work yeah. only because of an error there was yes, one sir. who actually went to the border and there was a very nice visa officer mm-hmm. uh, border officer and she asked he asked her how many uh, what how, how many years of work permit are you expecting yeah. and she said she was actually on live one of her students see her uh, one of her clients and she said it would be good to have two years so he gave her two years <laughs> yes yeah, so that's what i thought because ఎందుకంటేజ్మెంట్ Okay. Yeah, sure, sir. I will send it. Uh, morning also, yeah, I will send it. Yeah, I will send it. WhatsApp flow, Udhu Sandhya Ranjit. WhatsApp flow, yeah. there will be too many people, but send in both. See, yeah. the problem is like, I am here from 9 a.m. till, uh, you know, till uh, 5 p.m. And then I have yeah. calls on. So, I, by the time I get to my WhatsApp, it's like 8 or 9 p.m. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so I shared my message. Okay, you just messaged me. మాట్లాడడానికి Sure, Randit. And then I'll get it. Yeah, I just want to discuss something. I don't want to discuss in front of all people. That's why I thought about it. Sure. Okay. Sure. Okay, sir. Thank you. Sure. Uh, Raman? Da, da. Da, Raman. Harini, let me talk to Raman, then I'll get back to you. Okay. Raman, what was the deal? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know. Смотрите, какие планы? Поехать в Канаду с моей семьей по work permit в сентябре или октябре. Но мы не можем выбрать, какую провинцию. И главное, каким образом нам остаться после трех лет. То есть я здесь юрист, и я понимаю, что я там не смогу по федеральной программе получить предъявленный резистенс. Ну, Роман, вообще, я думаю, что да. Будет программа упрощенной, и, упрощенной иммиграции для украинцев. Это было объявлено с самого начала, когда делали. Я думаю, что будет программа упрощенной системы для иммиграции для, для украинцев. Но опять это не сто процентов, но можно надеяться один. Да? Второй. Uh, если вы, вы юрист, тогда по, нач, ну, давайте по вашей супруге. А кто она по образованию? По тоже, юрист, тоже юрист. И как бы у нее сейчас только ребенок родился, и в следующие там, 2-3 года она тоже не сможет работать. Okay. То есть у, у меня вопрос, я как бы просматривал много провинциальных программ там, э, по Атлантическому Я не думаю, отцу. что, Роман, вопрос другой. Вы... Не переживайте, пока завидно жительство. Для вас, в первую очередь, безопасности. Один, второй. Вы можете переквалифицироваться не только там, да? Например, я вообще врач по образованию. Mm. Да, я как получил видно жительство, но я работал в государственный вуз от международной отдел. По моему опыту работы я подавал на иммиграцию. Так что, если вы юристом, вы где работаете любой там, да? По вашей, не по вашей специальности, любую работу, которая найдет и подходит по 
или по провинциальной миграции, там разные специальности, и можете подавать. Вам же не обязательно юристам первое время работать. Не, я это понимаю, что я этим точно не буду там заниматься, для этого надо учиться в Канаде. Я вот хотел вас именно уточнить за те провинции, где больше номинаций в категориях C, or D, Skill Training. Любой провинции, кроме Онтарио, Онтарио даже тоже по PNP программа можно, но уровень жизни и жилье тут дорого. Поэтому кроме Онтарио, Бритиш, Колумбия, любой провинции интересно. Манитоба хорошая, Альберта, очень много украинских, второй, третий поколение украинцев живут в провинции Прири Провинс. Манитоба, Альберта, Саскичмо. Эти три провинции. Вам, вам неизвестно провинции, там, где там, работник таксист, там Макдональдс там, тоже может претендовать на номинации? Много, это, да, Нокси по провинциальной программе много. Вот все эти провинции можно тоже по Нокси пройти. Потом Атлантик провинции тоже можно. Вы, если вы приезжаете сюда, потом, да, первое, если вы готовы работать, планируете по специальности, которые подходят по провинциальной миграции, можно. И у нас четко уже есть подтверждение, что правительство Канады сейчас работает, да, разрабатывает программу, упрощенная система получения иммиграции для для всех, которые находятся по Temporary Residence. Uh -huh. Получением PR Канады не будет проблем. Главное, чтобы вы знали английский, главное, чтобы вы какой-то провинции ориентировались, где у вас будет работа, достаточно можно сойти. Просто первые работы, они же будут, ну вот буквально, ж, я же как юрист имею мастер дегри, то есть я буду overqualified from my books. Имеет значение. Я же вообще врач по образованию, я работал вообще другой специальности я все равно получил. То есть можно приезжать и устраиваться там Икея, Starbucks и спрашивать да. за номинацию да. в Манитоба, Сашкеване и Альберте. Это, да. разумеется, наиболее это. Да. Да. Спасибо не большое. Видно жительство, не переживайте. Все получат. Я за 23 года своего опыта работы да, в этом сфере и последние 10 лет в Канаде не бывает, что тут есть человек Нормальное образование есть, готовы работать, не получится. Английский, Просто конечно. многие ориентируют, что три года это мало, поэтому надо сначала сразу ориентироваться на те работы, которые могут дать провинциальную номинацию, а не просто попадать куда-то. Я 99%, 99,9% уверен, что будет упрощена система иммиграции для украинцев. Все. Большое вам спасибо за ваши труды. Все. Слава Украине, чтобы все получилось. Харими? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Hi, Godam, sir. How are you? I'm, I'm good, Harini. Just give me a second. Daniel, I'll talk to you later. Daniel, is it okay? Yes, it's okay. Harini, yes, please, Harini. Uh, hi, sir. Uh, uh, last time we spoke, I hope you you might not remember it. I have completed my IELTS. And I have uploaded the results in Conestoga page. And I was waiting for my unconditional offer letter. Even though I have sent them a mail, I haven't got that. Uh, uh, it's uh, It's been more than 15 working days, actually. Okay. Uh, so not sure whether uh, we are missing some point. Uh, oh, that, so there was a mail from them saying to accept some invoice uh, from their official mail system. Would that affect the official unconditional offer letter? Uh, just give me a second. Did you CCCIP in that? Yeah. 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 Who is your CIP manager? Arun. 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 Although Arun is uh, for following up that, uh, we just want to know your view as well, sir. Uh, Arun also doesn't have any. Uh, sorry, sir. I'm her husband. Hello. Uh, Arun also. Hi, sir. So Arun also told like uh, they would take some more time since they are working for uh, uh, other in day, but it's been more than um, like uh, last month, the uh, tenth we uploaded our IELTS uh, uh, um, uh, result. Uh, she got a CLB eight. <laughs> so then uh, uh, on uh, before sixteen we paid the like uh, initial payment of thousand two hundred CAD or something. We paid that also, sir. But it should be fine. Like, should be fine. Don't 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 don't. But uh, the largest college by enrollment. Yeah. It does take a bit of a time. Okay. But uh, uh, what? Worried like what, if you are missing something. 
there is nothing missing. You can actually log into your OCAS portal and check in. And Arun is very efficient. He's done a lot of applications, so nothing to do. What is your last name? Sorry, sir. Harini Tangarasu. T A N. T H A N G A R A S U. Tangaraju, right? Tangarasu. Rasu. Rasu. Okay, I have it. So you copied this email on the 20th of June. Yes, you that's have right. your deposit. When was the deadline for your deposit? It was 17th. 17th? And uh, when did you pay for the deposit? Uh, around 13th. Around 13th, I see this. Okay. Should be fine. Let me, uh, I don't think you will have to worry here, but let me reach out and uh, check in as well. Okay. Okay, sir. Uh, we do have don't issues. No, I don't expect any issues here. And okay. which program are you? Let me just check in. You are in project management. You're in project management, a generic program. Okay, I see it. You received your acceptance in on the 16th of June. Yes, that's right. Is it yeah. normal, sir, or, or anything? Uh, we have no, no, nothing to worry. Nothing to worry. It's just... Because, it's, uh, uh, we are worried like we are working for the education loan too and everything is going parallel. So no, I don't like, expect any issues here. Don't worry. Okay. Okay, sir. Then it is fine. Like uh, we have one more query. Like uh, for the proof of fund, uh, we have some fund. Like I'm having uh, 15 lakhs in my account and she's having 5 lakhs. But uh, she still insists uh, if we can show the PF because she's been uh, paying PPF and she got around 8 lakhs in her PF account. So can we show it as a her uh, net worth within the in the CA certificate? Should we? Uh, show yes, you can show that. But again, when you're applying under the STS, as yes. long as you're paying your first year tuition fees, your living expenses, GIC, and mm -hmm. showing the source of income, it should still be fine. Okay, that's more than, uh, that's enough. Like uh, more things we are showing, it's uh, uh, good. More yes. than, okay, okay, okay. Um, okay. Uh, Gautam, sir, just one question. Uh, Arun went through my SOP and he said uh, all those data and stuff, uh, just reminded him he has uh, read that in so I will check in. I see this as well. I, I see your SOP. You sent it on 19 June. I will uh, check it. Yeah, I am a little bothered that it might be something not I will, so... I will check in. Are you in a Tamil group? Uh, yeah, so I, am, can... I am there. Okay. Yeah. Just just say hi. Uh, hi, and I will tag. I'll find your number there, okay? Okay, yeah, sure. So, so I would... Uh, can I expect that you will have a look over it and let me know if there is an issue? Yes. Yes, okay. just tag me in the group, hello, Gautam, sir, and I will have your number out there, okay? Yeah, uh, yeah, sir, sure. Sir, finally, one query, sir, like, uh, so mm -hmm. when we can expect that uh, final, uh, like, offer letter, like, unconditional offer letter? Anytime soon, I will reach out today as well. Okay, okay. sir. I was hoping, like, uh, it won't get, it should not get delayed, like, we are processing the loan and everything. We are trying to... Be fine. Don't panic. It should be fine. <laughs> I don't expect, once you have an acceptance letter, you paid the deposit, it should okay. not be any issues. We have never had anything. If okay, anything, sir, because, uh, probably okay. might be the first, but as of now, no. Okay, sir. It's not so uh, late as in that case, right? Like, sir, for applying for the visa and everything. Is it uh, the right time? Like, uh, we are in time or? Oh, okay. no, all time. All good. All good. Go ahead. Okay. okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot for your time, sir. Thank yeah, you. Sir. Yeah, take care. Thank you, sir. Take care. Bye for me. Yeah. Daniel? Я хотел вам задать буквально пару вопросов про обучение. Я закончил девятый класс, мне 15 лет, и я хотел бы спросить, есть ли в Канаде бесплатное обучение для украинцев? Или, может быть, какие-то привилегии, облегчения? Девятый uh, класс получается полностью школу бесплатно. Школа бесплатно в Канаде, да, для украинцев? Да, школа полностью бесплатно. Не только для украинцев, для всех, которые находятся, даже по студенческой визе, по рабочей визе, украинцам бесплатно. А еще такой вопрос. А колледжи? У нас после девятого класса ты можешь пойти в колледж или Нет. же лицей? Тут надо обязательно, что надо один, в Украине сейчас 11 класс, правильно? Тебе да, надо, да. да, и в Канаде у нас 12 класс. 
надо закончить школу, а потом уже можно в колледж поступить. К этому времени э, некоторые, э, некоторые вузы дают обучение по стоимости канадской, некоторые нет, но в ближайшее время, я думаю, что все в Канаде будут для украинцев помогать. Поэтому у тебя есть три года пока возможности учиться 10 и 11 класс бесплатно, а потом можешь в колледж поступать, в колледж и а, Да, а еще такой вопрос. А вот я закончил школу, и сколько стоит вообще образование, высшее образование в Канаде? Если по стоимости канадских, то столько платить, это 5-6 тысяч долларов. Это высшее образование, институт? Да. А, а... а иностранных студентов платят по 20 тысяч. 15 20 тысяч? Ага. Иностранных студентов. А я думаю, к тому времени украинцы будут принимать. И можешь, а можем, да, по стоимости Канады это 5-6 тысяч долларов в год, как местный студент. Если сделать визу вот эту на три года, по этой визе я могу учиться в Канаде? Да. Ага. Откуда, а... откуда, откуда? Я, откуда я? Да. Я с Украины, из города Харьков. Из города Харьков, да? Хорошо. У меня был офис Харькова много лет. Мы очень много занимались программой образования с рубежом, программой обмен work and travel. Так что пусть мама, папа обращается ко мне. А где родители сейчас? Да, да вот сейчас рядом. Ну, они просто заняты и сказали, чтобы я сам поговорил, позадавал интересующие вопросы к вам. Да, можно. Я как раз в группе там писал. Там Facebook группы есть, Telegram группы есть, и сотрудники мои в Украине там есть. Обращайся, пожалуйста. Можно а, куда, да, а куда обратиться? Сайт какой-нибудь? Или, может быть, контакты дадите? Я не знаю. Я, я тут написал в группе. Ты видишь или не, не видишь? В группе. Сейчас я еще раз напишу. Чат? Чат, и там я сейчас еще раз тебе напишу. Нет, мне еще ничего не пришло. Окей, okay, я в группе чат пишу тебе сейчас. А работает э, посольство Канады в Украине? Ну, на данный момент. Нет, нет, посольство для визы не работает. В Украине нет. работает, да? Не работает для визы. А, вы... не работает. Хорошо. Я оставлю тебя... А, туда. вот я вижу, да. Там это ссылка наша, а потом контактный номер. Там Оксана у нас Львова и Анна, она сейчас... Польша, поэтому WhatsApp и Viber только. И Facebook группа, и Telegram группа. Окей. Okay. Да. А вступительные экзамены есть какие-нибудь? Ну, для украинцев не упрощенно. Нет, никаких. Да, хорошо. Да, все вопросы узнал. Спасибо большое. Да, пусть родители, если что, пусть обращаются там к моим сотрудникам или ко мне. Окей. Да, хорошо. Спасибо большое. До свидания. Да, что, чтобы все было хорошо.